All right, what's up, everyone? Sean here, aka Hawk Five to Five, and uh, welcome to the podcast once again. And uh, we have the three lovely gentlemen from the last episode once again. Uh, Ender Gamma is is back. Yo yo yo. Uh, Kai is back as well. Hello. And we have, of course, Zawa the Re. Morning. Okay. Still never gonna pronounce that. Just <laughs> saying. Zawa the Re. Okay, so uh, today this podcast is pretty much going to be all, or if not most, Nintendo. So um, this is pretty much uh, on the same day the recent Direct on April 1st came out. And um, I don't know where to start, guys. Like, geez. Well, I guess... Lucas! I guess we can start with Lucas. So, Lucas! You want to start, Kai, with um, the, the those characters? All I can say is like, okay, we got our um, gameplay of U2. That's all we, we want. We were actually expecting was a gameplay of U2. He plays just like Melee, and that's pretty much it. And then, like, you get, like, your new stuff for, like, the Miis, new costumes. Like, that's great, cool, too. We got one more final thing to um, have. Please take a look. <laughs> Lucas, boom. Like, he just came out of nowhere, literally. I don't know. His, 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 his slogan came out of nowhere and i'm like just noticing how he came out of nowhere i can't i like i wonder if any other else anybody else was going to come out of nowhere and they just give us a ballot to give us something to let them um let us request them characters Mm -hmm. so it's just a fact that the that they just did this because of the dlc implementation implement Mm-hmm. They, they just implement it, so it's like goodness. That's all I. That's all like. That's all I can put. Goodness. What about you, what about you guys? I, I would like to put in. Okay, this is. I know I don't play Smash a lot, but for the fact that they're actually going to balance change the game, I think is something that shouldn't be overlooked. Because if we look back, there was no balancing of any other Smash Brothers, like. Of course, 64, you couldn't really balance it. Mm-hmm. Melee wasn't online, couldn't balance it. Brawl, there were Melee things, but they're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> you got, you, okay, and yeah. the, but the fact that, you know, when it went from 3DS to Wii U, you know, they tweaked it. They took out, I guess, I looked up some stupid, um, what was it? Uh, Samus Zero to kill combo. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, like, they, they actually t- are taking these things out. And the fact that they're doing this... Um, from a developer standpoint, means they're actually supporting the game, and I think it means they're going to continually support this Smash Brothers throughout the entirety of the rest of this console cycle because new console means new Smash. It's just how it goes. Mm-hmm. It's the traditions, but I think that's really important because, from what I understood um, from multiple streams I've seen, not only the Yo video game stream, but other Smash streams, they would say, like, usually when Sakurai finishes a Smash, he's like, it's perfect. I don't want it to go back to it. But it's good to know that that's actually changing. Right. And he's still touching up on it, saying, like, okay, this is a problem. I um, I wonder if he's going to change the things people want. Like, of course, you know, everyone hates Diddy. Right, So, right. <laughs> you know, maybe he'll get touched. Maybe, but <laughs> maybe he'll touch up on some of the crazy custom moves being crazy since that's going to be the Evo tournament standard. Uh, who, who knows? And another thing I was personally excited about was the file sharing. Like, I, I hated that I put all this time into creating custom stages based on 64. And, like, I was like, the only way I could show my friends is, like, all right, get in my match. Uh choose random and we're gonna hope that it chooses my stage <laughs> so so and now we can all play smash ball and everyone can share it and smash we can all play smash ball man yes smash going Gitball. going back to the whole character balancing you say everyone hates diddy i don't really have a problem with diddy i have a more problem with rosalina mm. screw rosalina screw everything her hitboxes and everything is broken she's just a broken character screw her and, and all that she you is you know what i think they need to fix about rosa is her crouching posture uh, like when you just crouch in place, she like fucking snaps her goddamn pelvis. Bone. <laughs> like I know she's like leaning forward, but to me it looks like you like take a a bendy straw and you bend it. Ooh, <laughs> and that, that's her that's her she, crouching posture. 
she mm-hmm. can back break all she wants. It's her it's her four <laughs> her uh, forward smash, her dash forward smash, her everything, all her attacks is just broken. It's just num it's it's just a big hit hitbox where you can just have a hard time dodging and just screw her. Just screw her entirely. <laughs> People can have a problem with, with um Diddy, but I have a problem with Rosalina. Now I have a huge vendetta with Rosalina. Mm. Uh, what are the what? What is your um, piece on all this um, uh, Lucas and Mewtwo craze? I'm glad that Mewtwo's not floaty as fucking melee. Yeah, and, and you, you could tell that from the footage. Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't. I was just like, hey, look, he's he, like I was expecting a Lucario clone. I was like, oh no, I see differences. No. Because if you remember in Melee, he was floating. He would stay in the air and like oh, yeah. float in, float like a feather to just get mm-hmm. back down. In yeah. this one, they gave him weight. And his teleportation looks like a counter that Lucario and Greninja has, and he can combo right after it. Greninja's kind of... counter, every time I land it, I die because he throws himself off the goddamn map. <laughs> Substitute. Mm. Woo. Yep. And also Mewtwo's uh what is it? Leer? His side B looks Oh his disable, you mean his disable, thank you. Yes. Looks like an actual move that can help you do damage. Yeah. Does yeah. it disable a move? Like <laughs> oh, looks like that guy can't down B anymore. <laughs> oh, no, that'd be pretty cool actually. No, I don't think so. It's just probably or side B. Oh yeah, yeah that'd be. Mm. It probably makes sense if it was only side Bs. Right. I'd probably kill a lot of characters. <laughs> right. With the music. One more thing I like to throw in though is I think the price is awesome because I I don't have the 3DS version, so I was preparing to you know drop maybe eight dollars, ten dollars on the character. Four dollars. <laughs> Four bucks. Four bucks. Four bucks. I don't have to worry. I don't. I don't have to worry about it because Robert will giving me the code, so I'm like, I have to. <laughs> You know the code. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the code. Yes. Well, up to you, Kai. No, I, 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 I want. I want to have it early. Okay. So and and seeing that you don't, you're not really caring for the 3ds version. The code is just sitting there. I'm like, yep. I got this. It's a guy here that don't have the Wii U version and, and wishes to have it early, so you can like get that code to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm, I have this code here. Yeah, um, I think it's uh, uh, you know, pretty pretty awesome that you know they're putting um, Mewtwo back in, and um, yeah. and it, it was kind of out of nowhere with uh, Lucas as well. From you know, for me, I was like, "Well, really? They actually went with it?" I mean, I <laughs> guess um, I think everyone once they saw Ness getting beat up, they knew it had to have been Lucas. Yeah, but everyone had, was predicting so. Lucas. Like it was just like a no brainer. Like I saw people it. predicting because there was some fake leak that came out with. Like an ice climber, but just one ice climber. Well, you got to think of today what today is, and like yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Well, because because we all know who's who uh who isn't happy about Rayman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, with everything you know being offered in the DLC, I think it's pretty cool, and especially with um the the Mew. Uh, I'm uh, me. Sorry, me. Uh. Outfits, you know, including X and uh, Proto Man. I think that was, was pretty sick. Um, if only they actually put Proto Man in there. But anyways, <laughs> um, we can have Middle Age Link now, though. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if I wanted to make, if I wanted to make a a, a Black Link, I could too. A Black Link. So, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Hawkeye. <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> the dream oh, yeah. is not dead. You, you can still request for Proto Man because I mean, there's Link's costume and there's two Links, so. There's yeah. Proto Man's constant. You can have Proto Man in there. Yeah, that is that is true. Yep. So let's talk about the requesting ballot. Yes. So, um, what do you guys think of it? If anyone are, are we just gonna name who we voted for? So well, we just all go in a circle. <laughs> yeah. Go and ahead. Discuss go, why. Go ahead, man. Go right ahead. Oh uh, well, I voted for Crystal from Star Fox Adventures because I want a Star Fox character that's not. Well, like I know there's a difference between Fox and Falco, but they're, they're the same basic kit, you know, down yeah, yeah, yeah. the shot, the reflector, and then, you know, you got the forward B, and then I think Crystal would actually have to be a little different since she fights with the staff, and I think that would be nice. Right. 
So that that, that was my reasoning. Uh, it was a toss up between that or um, Weevil from Metroid Prime Hunters, uh, because mm. I think we need more Metroid ca- characters other than Samus. I don't, I know they're not very memorable, but I'm sure if you, you guys saw it, he, he looks pretty much like Fulgore, and he can split yeah. himself in half. <laughs> so that, that that could help, you know, with his move set. Like maybe it's like down B, he like just. And, and you did make a good point. Body. And you did make a good point where, like, um, in the first uh, Super Smash, they put Captain Falcon in, and people didn't really know who he was yes. until, like, Smash defined Captain Falcon. Like, exactly. You know, people knew of him. People know of F Zero, which I think we still need. We'll get into that if we talk about Mario <laughs> Kart later. Oh yeah, of course. But uh, yeah. Like, if it wasn't for Smash, Falcon Punch wouldn't be a thing. Captain Falcon exactly. wouldn't be his icon that he is today Mm -hmm. so you can put a vague character in smash now and it can become an icon yeah yep uh potentially anyway um i guess i'll go um i I, um i uh put in uh ryu from street fighter because um well i I mean as much as uh um as much as sakura already said that you know characters like him won't be in the game you know it's like fuck it i I want i want ryu to fight Friggin' Mario, and um, if you can make that happen, uh, you know I'll be uh, a happier, uh, um, a happier fan. But of course, forward B, yeah, what? Hadouken. Yes. Forward yes. B, up B, sure yeah, you can. Again. Down B, <laughs> Tatsu. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that was so hard. <laughs> we got Ryu. But um, it's, I don't know. Even even if like what what he said about Ryu, it's like oh he's already a fighting character, blah blah blah. blah but I th- I think Ryu would be kind of I mean he would play completely different because you know he's in he's in a Smash game which is like already a completely different fighting game by itself and you know it's not a traditional like you don't have a health bar or anything like that you're knocking I, off of people you know off of platforms and you know what I was thinking Mate? like a best way to describe what kind of fighting game Smash is it's a fighting platformer it yeah yeah that's one way to put it yeah, that's what it is because like i was thinking about it in the bathroom you know because when i'm in the bathroom i just think because you, know, like, you, you can't really do anything else mm-hmm. i was like you know it's not really a fighting game like traditional because if you think about it it's just like you know jump and try not to fall the mm-hmm. basics of platformer except you have someone trying to knock you off mm-hmm. which is by far original we brought up the game that shall not be named earlier me and uh so yeah, oh, yeah, yeah yeah i saw that so, but I won't it's, it's the only Ryu. one of its kind. I would validate Ryu if he was the Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix version. <laughs> Which one? What if he was the pu- Puzzle Fighter version? You know, that's like what I'm saying. The version. Super Gem Fighter. Um, oh, like a Chibi Ryu or something. Yeah. Okay. If, okay. The, if put the Chibi version. Of it. Uh, I can oh, I can go either way. It's Ryu. So. <laughs> yeah. Or you know, it'll be really funny if um they put the Ryu from the. Uh, the Mega Man game that he was in, remember? Um, with, all the, with all the the eight, yeah, the eight bit um, Street Fighters, you know, and Mega Man thrown in there, uh, that was pretty cool. How mad would you be if they put like Sea Viper in it instead? Oh my like, no! Just... <laughs> Why? Well, no, no. no. Then Marlin <laughs> Pie is gonna be super happy. Marlin's like, Marlin oh, Pie is gonna <laughs> Marlin Pie is gonna go to Smash. <laughs> like, and then just staring and at Wolf you. Crone, like, Hi, guys. Wolf Crone. Wolf Crone's gonna go to Smash. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> I, just, I just don't see it, but anybody. Right. So, um, mm. Kaichi, um, who, did you want to share? I, did you ever still, settle on one? <laughs> oh yeah, that's like, right. You didn't. Yeah, let me let me. I'll explain why. Cause like I when I when I was waiting for this game to come out, when all the characters kept popping up, I just see everyone wanting to put their Ridley's and their King K rules and their all them you know quested characters and such. And I'm like, Sakurai has his reasons to put the certain characters he put in. And I'm like, if I want to put in a certain character, I got to think like Sakurai. I mean, we all don't really know what he's thinking, but as far as the pattern goes, it's like... I know we, what he's thinking. What is he thinking? He's sleeping right now. <laughs> True. Anyway, so it's just... I don't... When it came to me trying to um, expect what characters were going to come for this um, before the game actually came out, I was... I turned off my hope, hoping, hoping uh, system, mm-hmm. and like 
when it came to requesting, like I didn't want no request, I didn't want to hope nothing. I'm just like, whatever soccer I guess, that's what we have. And I'm like, I'm gonna just deal with it. Cause if I hope for something and it never it never came, then it's like that's gonna ruin the joy of me wanting to play that game because that one character's not there. Because some people are like that. Mm -hmm. So when it came to me having to try to figure out what character I want to put in here, I don't know. Right. And, and I, we got till the October, so maybe between now and October, I may find out something. But right now, I have no idea. Because when it comes to me wanting to request characters, I want to be in the mind of Sakurai. It has to be. I think you need to vote for another Pokemon. <laughs> just vote. Well, I wanted to put. Well, when it came to Pokemon, I was like maybe Zorak. Zorak, or how are you pronounce that Pokemon oh, Zorak, name? Zorak, okay. Zor yeah, Zorak, but it's a it's already a Pokemon item, so I'm like, it's already like can't do it. So right, and then you can choose a grass starter because that's the only one that's missing from the roster. <laughs> that's true. Um, Not Bulbasaur. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, or Ivysaur, or whatever. Rest in peace. <laughs> I think we need a uh, Executor. <laughs> No, I'm done. Just anyway, I just like <laughs> it has to be a Nintendo based. It has to be from a Nintendo based game, or it's been on Nintendo consoles for many years. Has been memorable, and it has to be sort of like one of the main characters. I mean, when when um when it was pointed out about Captain Falcon being unexpected being Smash in the early games, like no one knew he's the main character. Of Captain Fal he's he's the main character of um F Zero. Right. So yeah. it's like, it has to be either a main character or a memorable character. Right. Like, main memorable character. And just saying, Ryu fits right in that category. Just saying. I just don't see Street Fighter in Smash. Street Fighter in Smash is... I don't see it. Yeah, I didn't see Pac-Man in Smash, but they made it happen. Oh, I kind of <laughs> saw it. I just kind of saw it, but I didn't, I didn't want to hope for it. Yeah. I honestly saw Pac-Man in Smash, but I just didn't hope for it. I also because didn't see Snake in Smash, and everyone wants him back too. No, that is just one person wanted Snake in Smash, and that because Snake was. Unexpected. There are a bunch of Snake mains out there, you know, that are like people just wanting their mains back. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's like ninety percent when a new release title comes out, people want their mains, and then they get upset if their mains aren't in there. So here's like, my suggestion. <laughs> here's, my, here's my suggestion. Okay. Sakurai should bring back all the you know, like besides Pichu, because like. Pikachu, Pichu, right? About the same, like. Where's, I thought, like, like Pichu. I thought the worst part about Pichu is Pichu hurt itself every time he used a B attack. Yeah, wasn't he like the worst character, pretty much? Anyway, is is this the fact that <laughs> moving back, on? Moving yeah, on. Bring back the characters like Wolf and um, who else? Roy. Because Roy, you can definitely, unless he can, they can make some different movesets for him. He'll, like, I mean, the, the Fire Emblem characters are about almost mimicking the same way except mm -hmm. Ike and, and Robin. But it's just like, bring back Wolf and Roy. We already know about the Ice Climbers issue. Rest in peace with them. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean... Yeah, we got Rosen when it comes, Ice Climbers now, though. Actually, if you bring back the Ice Climbers, act them like Rosalie and Luma. Because Luma is like his own character. But it's like, you know, it follows because the same way with um, Nana, she follows. So what you can do is instead of making it like a CPU, just make it its own character that just follows instead of like, you know, being all over the place, like in Melee and um, Brawl. Because right. it's like it's its own CPU that just follow, like just does whatever it wants. But like it'll follow you still. Take I think we need Nana. Daisy. Mm. Daisy gets Daisy. no love. Daisy definitely also needs to be. Oh, Waluigi, in. come on. <laughs> Waluigi or, um, assist trophy. Tiny, or uh, Tiny Kong. Kong. Hawkeye. Assi anybody that's an assist trophy, they cannot come into as a playable. I know, Candy I know. Kong. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, though. <laughs> I think Isabella. I like, Isabella. Because I, was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I want Shadow. But Shadow's an assist trophy. Mm hmm. And I, oh wait, I want no. Like, I, it just, it just, ideas kept coming, but it's like, does it work with Sakurai? Plant like, does it work with Sakurai? Well, oh, what's funny is Weevil. I pointed out earlier, like all the Metroid Prime Hunters were um, were trophies in um, Brawl. I, I went up and looked them up and found that out. So they're aware of those characters. They are aware of those characters exist. They have mm -hmm. just not. Or are they memorable? 
are they completely like hell was like hey I'm doing uh, I think I, I just I'm looking at like the games that are represented I think they need to add characters right yeah that yeah aren't I mean, represented granted. another another Metroid character another F0 character like why don't they put the main villain of put in Blood Falcon yeah Blood Falcon yeah I, I don't care if he if he's even like a clone just <laughs> I, I, it's just a fa- like I I only understand how y'all feel like seeing that the Metroid and F Zero series are, are definitely kind of like forever alone. Mm-hmm. It's just the fact that I'm pretty sure and something. We only got DK and Donkey for Donkey like, Kong. Kong. I, mean, I did like, Cranky Kong. I mean, I don't even care. <laughs> like right. when it comes to um, when it comes to like say when it comes to characters, like I I see that mute um not mute um Metroid and um. F zero, they, they're 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 forever alone in that state. But it's just in mind, like when Sakurai kept making these characters come back and um like made from from the first game all the way to Brawl. I'm pretty sure in his mind, like I wanted to put these characters in there, but are they really that memorable? Or are they gonna work into it and so forth? Because um, or like I seen an interview where Sakurai even stated how um. How like there's requested characters of wanting Goku and and SpongeBob. I'm like, <laughs> don't want you people. I'm like, I'm done I with you. I think the awardees though suggestion is actually a good um, memorable character. Which is Wardo. Uh, Bayonetta. See, yeah. yeah, like Bayonetta's now starting to you know become part of Nintendo. Bayonetta is Nintendo. Like, no one else has Bayonetta. Well, mm-hmm. it started out first as Sega, and then yeah. Nintendo yeah. acquired the rights and then gave it, get, you know, got it yep. as their own. And now then, let's hope uh, Nintendo acquires the rights to Darksiders so we can get a third game of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it pretty much ripped off them anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it was. Was. It, it was fucking Zelda for Xbox for me. That's the only reason I bought it. <laughs> and then if you look at, you know, the assist trophies or even the trophy list for Wii U, there's a character that's missing. His name is Isaac from Golden Sun. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> dude. No, no, no. He was an assist trophy in another game, I thought. No, he Bro. was just a trophy. Oh, he's just a trophy. That's right. Yeah, he's just a trophy. Oh. He wasn't an assist trophy. He's I never been see... an assist trophy? Missing. Oh, my goodness. I'm like... I'm Dude, why, why would we have Isaac instead of, like... I'm going through Tumblr and uh, I see Vote for Daisy. What is the it? princess we need. <laughs> um, Everybody's... Um, Dude, because no one likes Daisy. Daisy is, like, never in the spotlight. Yeah. My, my girlfriend was showing me this list of, like, stuff on Funny Junk. It was, like, all these pictures of, like, Daisy being left out. <laughs> right now, people are, like, doing this, like... Like the only thing is, though, and... Peach has an alternate color. That's Daisy. <laughs> Mario has an alternate color. Him. That's Lu- Luigi. Luigi has an alternate color. That's uh, Waluigi. Waluigi. Luigi has an alternate color. That's Mario. Is the fact? Oh no, Mor- Wario has a alternate color. That's Mario. Mm-hmm. So it's just the fact that alternate colors doesn't matter as long as the character's there. It's there. True. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but with Bayonetta, when I put in the the ballot, I, I kind of told him, you know, straight up, you know, you, she, her character model is right there. You can just pluck it and, you know, turn it down to size. Yes, she will you get can naked. Just... Naked when she's Pro- fighting. Probably not. <laughs> oh I'm, pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll censor Closer. or something. Yeah. Or something. Um... I think Sakura is going to have a very... Hello? Very yeah. Kai. Kai. Will I think got too hype. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was I was saying was I think Sakura's gonna have a hard time trying to make that character, seeing that she's kind of rated M and everything that she does is kind of like closed base and like if she does her final smash, like she has to strip. Right. Like she has she, to. So all, that's right there. That's the thing. Could consider. just, you know, do the whole thing where she strikes a pose and then it pans up. She's not even in there. And then the people who yeah. know what Bayonetta is know she's naked, but, you know, the kids don't. They just see the freaking dragon thing come out and snap, 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 gone, you know? Yeah. 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 Like, there's way, there's, there's way to censor things. Yeah. You know, freaking Toonami is a fantastic example. Toonami's <laughs> <laughs> not that, but Toonami's not that, like that anymore. It used to be. Used to be. Historically speaking. <laughs> well, with Bayonetta, I said, you know, her final smash, you know, 
as you said, strike a pose, screen goes black, and there's, you know, the final summon, Queen Shiba, and she just punches the whole other characters off the screen. Mm-hmm. The end. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yep. That's uh, that's that, that's pretty much her final smash, or if she is in the game. Um, you know, funny that you mentioned Toonami. Uh, I think Four Kids is the master of all censorship. But anyways, um... Bop will shoot you with our invisible guns. <laughs> oh, completely off topic. Um, that was Yu- a Yu-Gi-Oh, a bridge reference. But um, mm. Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> and Magic, uh, their Reddits basically switched. Like, I guess they collabed, their mods collaborated. So, like, everyone on the Yu-Gi-Oh! subreddit was like, what's with all these Pokemon, or no, what's with all these new cards? They suck. Their attacks aren't even over 30. <laughs> and then everyone, in, and then this guy on the Magic Reddit said, I got my new playmat today. You want to see it? It was a dual disc. Oh, wow. Uh, completely <laughs> random, but it was funny. Oh, yeah, that's that's great. Oh, um, God. Speaking about for kids entertainment, Kai, you, I mean, Kai, you, you can tell, like, so many animes were touched by that thing right yeah make it same, sound like they were violated same same with with hawk here one piece got touched really hard from oh kids don't even get me started <laughs> hi i'm smoker oh i supposed to have cigarettes in my mouth nope oh no, excuse me i'm, 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 cha- I'm, oh, I'm chaser I- <laughs> yeah i'm chaser instead of smoker and yet there's still smoke coming out of my mouth somehow, and his teeth are still kind of open. slightly open and shit. Yeah, that's same, where the same cigars thing with, were. Same thing with crocodile. It's like, hmm, you're missing something. Mm. <laughs> but uh, you're off topic. Anyway. Yes, yes, to yes. End, yes. To, end it, to end it off with the character request, all I ask you people is to think about what Sakurai would do. Don't try it. I understand there's going to be a million people trolling the, the, the crap out of it. They want their Ridley's. Even yeah, I've seen big. like three Justin Wong suggestions on Twitter. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I, like, I, like, I understand that uh, Ridley's too big and all that stuff. You need to think about what was Sakurai put in. What, why why he put it there was, it, was the reason. I, I think we got We don't really have to be worried about what people put yeah. in because if something's obnoxious, they just ain't gonna do it. Like I said, I don't. I think this is less of a tally and more of a suggestion box. Like they're yes. just gonna sort through. If you want, yeah, and have, nope, like, have fun nope, with it. Nope, you know? Maybe yes. Nope. 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 I'm maybe saying, nope. 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 Wait. I'm yeah. just saying, if if you're gonna want a character in there, make a valid, like a reasonable request. Yeah, of course. Because right now I have a friend of mine that wants Gino from Super Who? Mario RPG. Hmm. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know the, it's like this. My girlfriend said, "Put in shy guy," and I was like, "Dude, I'd totally play shy guy." <laughs> I would play shy girl, man. Shy, shy girl. Actually, you know what they need to put then? Frodo. Screw, screw snake. They put in Kojima. <laughs> somebody, already put, somebody made like a um, a post about that on Tumblr about that. Say like, like Kojima because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> And his final, it his, his mm-hmm. final smash will be just like the screen being filled with cryptic notes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Fuck you, Konami!" You know, <laughs> in light of Predator actually being in Mortal Kombat, I think we should, just, you know, start letting our dreams fly a little wild because I, I didn't even see that coming. Max uh, did. <laughs> Max wanted it. He he did not profit. He said, you know, if you go back and watch his video, he was like, you know, I they probably won't do this, but man, do I want them to. It was a yeah. wish. It was just a wish that was fulfilled. And do you know what? I, I bet, bet you 10 to 1, 10 to 1, they did it for him and all the other art that was out there because they admitted that Tremor was only put in there because of Finn. Mm-hmm. The fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... so- you know what? As Kai said, let let Sakurai take the helm. Sakurai, just put yourself in the game. <laughs> just, <laughs> have, have like a goddamn like big like pen or something. A pen. <laughs> I think he is in the game. He's the master hand, crazy hand, and also the in the master core. Have him wearing the hands. Oh Those yeah, gloves. like the gloves. He'll just have white <laughs> gloves. Yeah. And then he'll like just shoot people and like have lasers and rip tears in reality. Mm-hmm. That's all. That would be pretty cool. He'll, he'll be the Shang Tsung of the game and his down B. Shang Tsung. Like, he'll, uh, like if, if he down B, it's a counter, and if he hits him, he turns into your character, except he deals higher percentage damage and just blows you up. 
<laughs> Good job, Sakura. Yeah. Um, I do want to kind of touch upon the uh, amiibo that uh, that were revealed, and uh, I, I need do... that Yoshi yarn amiibo. Just saying. oh yeah, yeah, and, and I was gonna say that too. Like, wow, they actually made a a, a wooly sweet. a wooly Yoshi amiibo, and I thought it was really cool. And it's not like just like ordinary amiibo. It's like it's like a little stuffed animal. A little, a little, a little plush. Plush, yeah, a plush Yoshi. Which um, I'm pretty sure that would be that would sell a lot. <laughs> oh uh, my goodness! And the Splatoon amiibos, yo. Splatoon, yeah, hold on. The triple pack. The triple before triple pack. we continue any before we yeah. continue any further, somebody just uh, I just realized something. Um, mm -hmm. I just see this post on Tumblr that says, "In case some people didn't scream or how clever this was, um, it says Lucas came out of nowhere, right? He really came out of nowhere. There's a, a there's a um a island called Nowhere in Mo Mother Three. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was the uh, the ploy because like I all their. Did, uh... <laughs> I didn't. He, I didn't know. I mean, I haven't played Mother Three or even knew about. Well, my, I didn't my, my girlfriend like fills me in on all the lore of like stuff I haven't played, so that's the only reason I knew stuff like that. Oh, so yeah. guys, y'all watching? If y'all didn't know nowhere, I, if we if we thought literally nowhere, it is literally nowhere. Oh, an, whoa, know, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know who's I know who's coming next. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog. Done <laughs> coming out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with you right now. <laughs> you know, get out. He's done. <laughs> get out. Good night, he came everyone. out of the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the middle of nowhere. Let's let's <laughs> clarify that. <laughs> Don't <Yeah. everyone. laughs> uh, all right, yeah, Only so, uh, 90s kids will understand that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, as I was saying, um, the amiibo were pretty much all revealed, like with all the rest of them, including like Ganondorf and Doctor Mario and um, who else? Oh yeah, like Dark Pit and uh, Palatina, Greninja. Greninja yes. The characters that haven't been touched on yet. <laughs> mm -hmm, pretty much all the characters, yeah, haven't been touched on. And um, I'm what kind of threw me off a bit was just uh, one of uh, what, what you call it? like one of the months only is going to have two amiibos, like um, like. Dark Pit and Palatino. I was like, really? I think it's because they said in that month they were actually going to try to get the other amiibos that, you know, that are really hard to find. Like they said oh, like, the like, re like a reprint or something. Like Marth. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I think that they're doing that to help, you know, put more into the market. Yeah. That's and that's I, th I think it's because they understand that amiibos were really successful. I mean, like I said, it was taken after Skylanders and Disney Infinity. Mm -hmm. Figurines that you can put in a game are successful. I mean, it's just simple. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> it's just how it goes in today's marketing of gaming. Because the little kids can take it, take them to school and be like, yeah, you know, playing with their little toys, take them home, stick them on their console, and then play with them some more. Mm -hmm. This troll request, though, Crash Bandicoot is a Sony exclusive for trolls. <laughs> oh, my God. You get off a of Tumblr. <laughs> get out. No, get off. You're going to give yourself an aneurysm. <laughs> Actually, if it's tumble, okay, it's let's just all say that we want Funky Kong in the game, and he needs to be holding the boombox in. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Then if if they're making ridiculous, you know, requests, you know, put Conquer. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Dude, I want I Master want... Chef. I want oh, Master no. Chef. <laughs> Master <laughs> Chef. <laughs> Master Chef. No, uh, they should put um, Chef from South Park, since South Park was on N sixty four. <laughs> I want Todd. Children, I want Todd this. from Pokemon Snap. Oh, 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 man! <laughs> or no, dude, even better. Yeah. Professor dude, fucking throw... Oak. <laughs> no, no, because Todd will like throw pester balls and throw apples oh. and then play <laughs> the polka flute. And oh, yeah. then he'll also like his Super Smash. Will be, he'll like just take a picture of you. Like a big and then ass. it'll put you in the grade. It'll put you in the grading chart. Oh. And, then, and then it'll just knock you out. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, Professor Oak. I, that, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Is it right, young Professor Oak? What's up? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got that conversation back in. I just, I just, I was just. <laughs> well, we, we could go on forever about speculated yeah. characters. I think right. we should, that should be a, a separate podcast. Um, yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, last uh, request then. They put in Wesker. Yeah. What? Done with you, Zardo. <laughs> no. If there's going to be Zardo. anybody from Assist Me put in there, it's just going to be Benny. It's got to be Benny, this. yo. <laughs> no, I, I have a Benny. feeling some I have a feeling some dude 
in our streams that our viewers are, is going to put Benny. I have a hunch. clearly you haven't seen Twitter lately. Let's move on and maybe find out later. <laughs> yeah. A they can't just have Benny. They have, person... to have Benny and JJ together as one unit. Oh, that'd be perfect. It's like Duck, it's duck, duck Hunt Dog or like, yeah, Rosalina and Luma. That'd, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, also mention uh, Mario Maker. Uh, what do you guys think of Mario Maker? There's going to be a lot of dicks. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of dicks. It's going to be a lot of dicks. Spiky dicks. Come on. Spiky, <laughs> spiky dicks. They're going to be. They're gonna be bolt bills at the end of those decks. <laughs> we all we all know, we uh, all know how creative this community can be. Mm, but mm. I think also there might be a lot of neat stuff that comes out of it. People won't have to make like uh, go on the computer and make flash versions of games. You know, we're gonna probably get all those. I want to be the guy and I want to be the boshi type mm. Mario levels. I bet you ten to one mm. if it has those capabilities. They'll ha they'll make but, like a like a meat super meat boy type of level too. Maybe. Yeah. Well, <laughs> But I thought this thing was teased like a long time ago. I was like, I thought this already came out. Like, <laughs> like, like, cause I like. It was teased, yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So I was like, I thought this already came out. Oh. Well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I guess we can go on uh, to Splatoon if anyone doesn't want to talk about uh, Mario Maker. Um, <laughs> Spl <laughs> Yeah, I'm so what? excited for that game. I'm gonna play so much of that because I, I am a shooter guy. Yeah, it's I'm a here. shooter guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm right now actually I'm downloading some of the files from the direct and converting them from FLV to MP4 so I can go through, cut up the Splatoon footage, you know, and talk about it because I am so excited for that game. That was one of the other pushers to buy me a Wii U, mm -hmm. is because I need a refreshing, unique shooter. And it's like, this actually looks nice. I like how the objective isn't actually kills. It's um, map control, which is, if you play shooters, is very important in no matter what shooter you're playing is map control. I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of people don't think about it. It's like the equivalent of footsies in a fighting game. Lower yeah. levels don't even know what the hell it is. They're just going. But as you start getting more competitive, it, it becomes more present. Like, from where you're going, how you're moving about the map. And it looks right. exciting, but it doesn't look like it's going to be one of those, you know, like, hardcore, I guess, sh shooters. Oh, for matches, sure. But it does look fun. Ranked you can put ranked still. on anything, but it doesn't make it hardcore. I, I think ranked matches is a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think it'll bring out a competitive community. But I think for the most part, it'll be a nice, you know, fun game that people can play. Um, I think Nintendo needs their own shooter to drive people away. I think it's now is a good time, as the last few shooters that are popular are, you know, Call of Duty, which you know will always be there with like the the bro armies out there and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Des and Destiny, but Destiny has a kind of a love hate relationship with its community. Yeah. I mean, I play the crap out of that game, but I think its main feature is the raids. I think a competitive shooter on the Wii U is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not, you know, like Twitch, you know, like highest reaction time, it looks like there's a lot you can do. Um, yeah. Based on, uh, I, I could go on forever. If anyone has anything to say, just cut me off. <laughs> but I think the uh, the idea how there's kind of a trifecta. There's, you know, the auto paint gun. That's kind of the mid range thing. You mm -hmm. got the charge rifle. It doesn't cover as much. Uh, the paint on the map, it's not really good at doing that, but you can pick off people from long range, mm -hmm. and then you have the roller, which is actually like a melee weapon, which I think is really nice, and I think mm -hmm. this will be a really nice thing. Uh, we'll probably see a bunch of streams of it whenever it comes out. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Max will touch on it, maybe. At least I don't know. He might, he, he might think it's kitty. Mm -hmm. Matt Max has his own taste, but right, right. Uh, I, I'll definitely be streaming it. Uh, I'm I'm definitely, and I know Inferno Omni. If any of y'all watch him, he he's super stoked about it. Mm. Uh, but man, that game looks fun. It looks like something you can play with your friends. I'm my only worry is, is there mic support? On no. The U? There, um, I mean there we there is the mic on the uh, gamepad, but uh, uh, from what I've heard, there is no uh, team speak or any of the, that sort for uh, Splatoon. Yep. It's just... So that means that when all four of us start playing, uh, we're going to get in Skype. And we're going we gonna to talk. We're going to communicate. We got... Yeah, that's it. That's probably the only way uh, to do I'm it. I'm just saying, map control. You need to communicate because... <laughs> yeah. 
I, I ain't gonna spell it out on the ground because by the time I get the first letter written out, I'll probably be dead. <laughs> first blood. So, uh. no. First ink. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, you know, yeah, for me, like I, I've always been a big fan of shooters, um, especially with uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield. And, um, of course, um, the last generation with the PS3 and Xbox 360 was, like, pretty much dominated by uh, shooters and not so much other games like uh, fighting games, especially. And um, with that, you know, it's pretty much kind of um, worn out for me. And um, now that, that's, that was really evident with uh, Advanced Warfare and uh, Ghost. It was just pretty much... The turning point for me to just put down Call of Duty. Finally, I'm like, you know, I'm 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 done with this. And uh, with Battlefield, Battlefield Four was, you know, I've always said about the bugs and all that, and I was completely done with it. And um, you know, when you you know when you look at it, it's like it's it, now now we're at the point it's um, copy and paste. You know, this is really the copy and paste game that every hater has been talking about you know at least from for me anyway and and you know with that i you know i, I put pulled those games down and now i'm not even touching any shooter right now pretty much um <laughs> i guess dying light kind of kind of counts sort of because it does have shooting elements in it but it's not a true shooter it's just like a i feel that's more a sandboxy game it's a sandbox game where you kill zombies and stuff because that, that's kinda, i feel like that would be like calling skyrim a shooter yeah because it has arrows and stuff, but Cause, uh, yeah. yeah, but I, you know, I, um, something like Splatoon is seems to be really refreshing, and I actually, you know, am look very much looking forward to Splatoon. It, I mean, granted that it, it that um, it is a third person shooter rather than a FPS, but um, putting that aside, you know, I think it looks really fun, and um, I am all for kind of like different games on the Wii U, and. Um, you know, we ne we ne we've never had a, you know, big shooter game, you know, a lot in a long time. So, you know, I'm really happy to, you know, to see something Ink like girl this. Ink Girl for Smash 4. <laughs> Ink Girl. Yay, hey, it's possible. <laughs> I already have the Amiibos. Yep, they have any of the Amiibos. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's it for me. I mean, I'm very much looking forward to it. I want Splatoon, um, pretty much now, but I know it's coming out in May, so. I'm gonna... It's in May? It's in May, yes. Oh shit. Yes. Yeah, I gotta step up my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I'd have more time to get it built. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what are though? Uh, are you, um, what about you when it comes to Splatoon? Splatoon to me looks a very friend friendly game, unlike Mario Party. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> you can have fun and not worry about friendship game breaking or oh, broken. Sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> but overall, yes, it's a really good uh, take from a sh standard shooting game. As as I was telling, and there, there's in this game from all the uh, you know sneak peek gameplay we saw. There's more ways than one you can control. You know, have map control. Mm -hmm. And to me, I what I really like is the uh, the squid mechanic, where you can just lie in wait in the uh, pool of ink and pop up, shoot the other person. But if they ink move that on. spot, it pops you out. And also, yeah. you need to jump in the ink to get to ammo refill. back. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's, so. that's 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 what I like about this game. It's, it's also like... the best form of mobility mm -hmm. based on your weapon. And I've also looked up other stuff. It, basically. Your headgear, your shirt, and your shoes are going to be, like, your three perks, like, in Call of Duty. Yeah. So, there's going to be customization in it, which is nice. Yeah. Um, you know, and it, it does also kind of make it a little more familiar with people who are coming from, let's say, Call of Duty, or, like, just, like, big shooters or whatever. So, you know, it's all, all that much more welcoming for, you know, this, like, this big, diverse, you know, demographic that they're trying to shoot for. Um, both uh, hardcore, I guess, and the you know the friend you know family friendly, um, you know young casual uh, demographic. So that's why you know again I'm really look, look, very much looking forward to uh, Splatoon. It's a it's like 
I think it's going to be the next uh, big shooter on the the Wii U. And my only hope is they support it as much as they have promoted it after launch. Because it, yeah. th- this is the thing a lot of a lot of um, high incoming new shooters have trouble. Um, they they might have a rough start, and they take that as oh people don't want to play our game, and it gets kind of like it just stops supporting it, and it gets kind of upsetting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I just hope that Nintendo, like they have with Smash 4, just keep supporting it, balance changes, because shooters will always have like a weird broken dominance with weapons, especially when you add variety, like the headgear. Right. There's going to be a brokenness to it. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a high tier of what you need to have and a meta, and I hope that they just continually tweak it because... That's what can keep me personally in a shooter is is it continually evolves. It'll in- inspire me to upload commentaries because, like, I realized this when I was doing Destiny commentaries. The, P- the PvP didn't change frequently enough to warrant making a commentary about it because mm-hmm. there was nothing to talk about. So I hope that they keep updating it, keep tweaking it keep adding more stuff so that there is stuff to talk about, there is reasons to keep playing it, and there is reasons to bring more people in so it can grow and hopefully, you know, mm-hmm. like, I, I don't need it to have, like, high, you know, $1,000 tournaments for Splatoon, but I do want it to have enough of a following to where I'm not queuing up for a game and not finding anybody because that is the saddest thing Yeah. in a shooter. Don't lie, it has to be good. Mm. Basically. Yeah, and of course, you know, the Online experience has to be uh, top notch as well, or at least very good. And yeah, that, that definitely will help uh, um, keep it up there. And hope, let's hope that um, the online uh, experience at the start won't be too rough like so many other games uh, recently, uh, such as, uh, well, Dying Light or, um, you know, Far Cry 4, you know, and um, don't forget, like, uh, does wait, does uh Assassin's Creed have a uh, online multiplayer? Unity, Unity, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Oh. I didn't play Unity. No, oh, okay. Well, but my example is there was this um, arena shooter that came out for 360 that some people may know of. It was called Nexus. Um, it was kind of like Unreal, where you know it was basically there are weapons on the map. You can hold all the weapons if you can pick them up in one life. You got to pick up health as you keep moving, and you know it's one of those shooters, you know, you know, with the, with the, with the bunny hopping and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was a really fun game. And for the first like month, you know, I could just get in matches, keep playing it, win, lose, find people, and it was really fun. But if you went on there now, there's just no one playing it, and that's just the thing about shooters nowadays if you don't have people playing it it's just gonna die out because it's not like a fighting game where as long as there's like 20 people still playing online you can still find matches Mm because it's 1v1 these game types are for the most part from what i can understand online unless you're playing locally with a friend are going to be 4v4 so you need at least eight people Mm -hmm. so that's only my hope but hopefully you know with its unique art style it'll appeal to not only a younger community but also older people in their yep. middle ages that want to play a shooter that aren't a f- that aren't phobic to something that looks kiddy which mm-hmm. i feel is going to be the biggest downfall people are like oh that game looks like it's for little kids i'm like i bet you these little kids could kick your butt at it <laughs> you know? oh little Mario's a kid game freaking so hard <laughs> yeah it's like it's like but anyways, yeah. that, that's all I have to say. I mean, I'm probably going to buy the Amiibos. Yeah. I'm not going to open them. They're going to sit <laughs> up here with my other Amiibos. I'll be You're, not, you're not going to get the the, the, the the secret costumes and stuff, man. <laughs> so, I'll, 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 I'll cope. I'll cope. <laughs> I'd rather have. Yeah. Um, okay, so that, that's pretty much it for Splatoon. Uh, I do want to briefly touch upon the uh, virtual console a bit because... Um, uh, now they finally added the N64 stuff, or they're going to add. Where's it. Pokemon Snap Two? Uh, <laughs> no. Dead. <laughs> De- no, dead. That no. No, we- think about it. Think about it. You 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 grab your 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 Wii your your Wii tablet and you mm-hmm. literally Wii just tablet. move it around <laughs> and you start taking pictures of stuff. You know, it, it look, hold, pick it up, pick it up right now. Don't tell me that R isn't a good take a picture button. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> It's the same it. thing like the uh, Fatal Frame game, then. I, I think that's going to be good. 
which I really want to play. Is it Fatal oh, back Frame? Back to Virtual Console. Is that the Fatal Frame Drive or something? Or oh yeah, they they showed it at the direct. The Fatal Frame's coming to the Wii U. Oh yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. I only want I uh, I stopped halfway because I didn't have enough time. But um, I I pretty much stopped yep. where the indie games were being announced. So um, don't starve. I have not played that game, but it's looked fun, and I'm gonna try playing it on um. Uh, Wii U. Oh yeah. And I like how if you buy it. Even though there's no Don't Starve Together, which I think they might actually add later, that you get two. You get two versions of the game, so you can send one to a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, I feel like that just alludes to them adding Play Together after. I mean, it just makes sense. Because hmm. I would love to play like that kind of game. You know, just like, I know it's a Let's Players game, but it actually looks fun to like play with, you know, yeah. friends. <laughs> like... <laughs> Right, right. I guess, I guess you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, um, as I was saying, try, trying to say with the uh, virtual console, like, they're um, you now finally adding the um, N64 stuff. But I was surprised that actually put in the DS DS stuff as well, starting with um, Mario Kart DS. And... Where's my Prime Hunters? <laughs> right. <laughs> now that they why, is to... there no, why is there no Prime Hunters you? We could all fucking shoot each wow, other. Wow, see that would be a little a little more competitive, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that game was broken. There was no competitive because everyone chose a different bounty hunter, and there's clearly always the best one, even though probably no one <laughs> played it that competitive because original <laughs> DS online was poop. Poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. But hey, it's out there. When was the last time we saw a Metroid Prime game? Uh. <laughs> Four exactly. scores I never played years ago. <laughs> uh, I honestly haven't played a Prime game, but I'm gonna probably buy the the trilogy on Virtual Console. Oh yeah. Whenever, whenever I feel like it. Mm -hmm. I just wish I didn't have to use a Wiimote. <laughs> that's all. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Heck, I'd. But, yeah. but I think Virtual Console is a good idea. You know, people get chances. To play games that they didn't get to play, you yeah. Because because there's, there's a younger generation that probably hears about games. Yeah. But... Mm -hmm. Where's my Pokemon Stadium? <laughs> that's all. I, uh, what about Coliseum, yo? Col <laughs> yeah, Coliseum. Uh, well, mm -hmm. who knows they're gonna, if they're gonna start putting in GameCube games? That would be pretty good. I mean, surprising actually. Considering you know there's still the Wii, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure if they will, if they will put in the um, the GameCube games, Paper they'll... Mario 64. Oh yeah, Paper Mario 64. Um, yeah, if they started putting in the GameCube stuff, uh, they'll definitely start start out with um, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. If and, they uh, put in the GameCube stuff, guys, melee. <laughs> they need to make sure they get Eternal Darkness, and we gotta get the Yo Video Games guy to play it. <laughs> because of all the insanity effects that was a terrible game but the insanity effects are great <laughs> and then you're getting listening to it guys stop listening get out of here max get out of here simmons get out of here guys stop listening no or you guys will probably actually, look him up let, anyway let let steve play it just let him play it <laughs> oh yeah yeah like, I can imagine him whenever, like, it goes to your freaking memory file and delete. Like, it opens it, like, opens up pause menu, goes to your save game, and it, like, goes over to delete. And it's like, are you sure? And it moves over to yes. I can imagine I'm pressing, no, no, what? <laughs> it's the save data. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Um, yeah, for pre yeah, pretty much, you know, virtual virtual console. Yeah, now that now that they're adding N sixty four N sixty four stuff and Nintendo DS, you know, I, I definitely would like to see um, some more interesting titles from the you know the DS and give me Smash sixty four. <laughs> I know that's that's not gonna happen, but please. Wait, Smash sixty four? Yeah, bring me that on virtual console. I would rebuy that game, even if it didn't have online. I would play the crap out of that. It's already on virtual console though. It is? Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. April Fool's. April Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. It's, it's still April Fool's. Oh, no, no. Fuck. No, wait, I, wait. I, 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 shit you, I shit you not. I shit you not. This, uh, Smash 64 is on Virtual Console right now. It's been okay. out. It's been out. So Go. Keep in mind, I've only owned this Wii a couple months. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have get it. 
I loved yeah. them. I, I can't get it yet. I gotta, yeah. I gotta wait for MKX, man. MKX, yeah, for sure. Like I already have it pre-installed, but I told I need to work on this computer and get it upgraded so I can start streaming in HD and not 360p. Uh, one thing I want to do, I do want to point out is pretty. It's pretty interesting that you know it's like, oh, if you have it already on the the Wii or whatever, um, loyalty can, discounts. Yeah, you get you get you get a big ass discount, and you only pay like what two bucks for whatever game. So. I thought I know was... some people would be upset that like, well, if we already bought it, we should get it for free. But I mean, if you already bought it, you already have it. Then what's the issue? Yeah, well, see, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to be spoiled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I've noticed as I've gotten older, you know, I don't really hold on to money being an issue as much. You know, I don't complain about like, oh God, DLC for this is like twenty dollars, or like I, I just find it like. <laughs> I just buy it. I save up, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's a nice little segue because I do want to want us to talk about um, the Mortal Kombat uh, X and its um, combat pass or combat pack. Combat excuse pack. Me, pack, excuse me. Uh, with it having, um, you know, Jason and also Predator and Tanya and Tremor. So how do you guys feel about uh, Predator if we haven't talk, talked that already? Did we not talk about that? No, I think we, no, we definitely talked about Jason. But um, we we're just saying like, oh, Predator yeah. might be in it, blah blah blah. But uh, I don't think we've talked about. Dude, that I think either. that's sick. Um, mm -hmm. my, my only fear is that if he's the net character, like the Cyrax, that means I gotta play him, which means I gotta I gotta fight people like Max. But I don't gotta fight Max because he's gonna be playing on PS4 and I'll be on Xbox One. So we'll be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing, as I said earlier, that Ed Boon in an interview actually admitted that Tremor was such a very, like, unique character because he was, like, only in, like, one of the game, but the community wanted him so much. It's why he's going to be the last one um, that they they actually listened to the community and added him. Uh, I won't lie, I didn't play MK Gold, so I had no idea who the heck Tanya was mm -hmm. or MK4. I stopped playing after MK3 uh, right. when I was younger. Yeah. Um... I think Predator is a good addition. People saying you need to put Alien in, I don't see that happening because there's, with the exception of like the forearmed people, the the Shao, Shotokan, I, yeah, I don't know what they. Goro, Goro and those people. <laughs> yeah, Shiva and Goro and stuff. Um, yeah. they're they're all really humanoid. Even them, they are very humanoid. Yeah. Characters, so I highly doubt we'd see Alien in this game, but I think it's really neat. I'm I'm really excited to see stuff. Honestly, Tremor, even though I had no idea really who he was, looks very interesting to me. I'll probably test him out. Yeah, same here. But mm -hmm. because I, I could imagine him like uh, you know in uh, what is it uh, what is it um, Ki Conra how is uh, sand spikes? I, oh, I can yeah. see him having like a ground pound move that makes like earth spikes come out of the ground, mm -hmm. like a freaking earth bender. Earth bender, man. He's gonna yeah. be earth bender. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. But okay, I'm back. Hello. Hey, we're talking up, about Missy? Mortal Kombat. Talk oh. Yeah, we talking about Mortal Kombat and uh, Predator. <laughs> also, if y'all don't know, they also what they're doing with the living towers. Uh, if y'all haven't heard, they're doing this thing where whenever a DLC character comes out, even if you haven't bought them, there's a living tower specifically where you play as the DLC character. So you can like kind of so try them out. You can basically try them out, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can try before you buy, and I think that's very interesting. You may not be able to try them in a competitive environment and see how he stacks up against other people, but I think things like that are very important, like... Being able to you try know, out. sometimes, yeah. sometimes there's people who are like, man, I'd really like this. I like how this character moves. I'd like him. I wish he was just better. But then there's also, you know, where you play someone, you're like, I would not play this character ever. Like, and people who don't buy the combat pack who want to pick and choose the characters they want, I'm not judging them because everyone mm -hmm. has their own thing, will be able to try it out. And if they're like, man, I really don't like how Jason moves, or I don't like how Predator moves i i don't I'll, I'll, I'll never play this character and they don't have to but they get to try and you know that probably also gives them a chance you know if there's like character specific achievements like do this many special moves with mm -hmm. predator or something they have a chance to get that without actually buying the dlc mm -hmm. maybe but yeah. I, I think the combat pack while a bit pricey will be really nice 
Um, yeah, so, like, the comment pack will come with the four characters, and it'll come up with, like, a bunch of skins and um, for certain characters. Uh, Little note. This is how the skins worked before, and I, I hope they fix this. In MK9, whenever a DLC character was released, mm -hmm. there was a free compatibility pack that people could download. Right. So, you know, they would get the content on the... Because it's not on the disc, and this is sure sign of it. Mm -hmm. Um... And they would entice people like, hey, download this free costume compatibility pack. But basically what it was, was um, people didn't download that. And I ran into them online. And I'd been, you know, practicing this rain combo. Oh, they didn't download the rain uh, compatibility pack. Looks like I don't get to play rain. And I hope they fix that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That made me so mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, there's no point in learning. No point in learning DLC characters if people can be like, well, there was literally one person who had every compatibility pack, even the one after Rain, except uh, Rain. They had Scarlet, Kenshi, and Freddy, mm -hmm. and not the Rain one. I was like, okay, now I know you really just don't like playing against Rain, so you didn't download it. You deleted oh. him from your game. <laughs> I, was, I was mad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I hope that they make them um, automatic updates, which I think I've heard, and also in a... Um, in a, uh, another interview, they've actually mentioned the netcode, and they said they've worked on it and made sure that it was improved. So that's really good. Yeah. I'm really excited. For a PC? Glad they're actually addressing it instead of dodging all the questions. It's it's coming on PC, is it? It is. I, already, I, I believe have, so. I've been gifted, I've been gifted um, to come to PC. Nice. Yeah, so someone gifted it to me, so I'm like, yeah. I just need to find a way to get the combat um, pack because I don't have it yet. Yeah. Hey, at least you, know, you can try it out with the the living tower. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like to have my characters complete. Yeah, that's that's my thing. Mm -hmm. And so, um, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was done. Right. Okay. Um. Now, from if I'm correct, uh, they're also releasing it on the uh, the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Correct. Yes, but at a later mm -hmm. date. Yeah, at a later date. And handled I by, I think, a separate... Uh, kind of like how they... You know how they did with like Titanfall where res it wasn't really Respawn that made it? Mm -hmm. It was just, They just um, set it to that. Mm -hmm. like, they, they, like I guess, give all the files and like, Hey, you, uh, downgrade it so it can run on this uh, lower-end console. Right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, oh, right. Um, back to Nintendo, sort of. Um, there was an article back uh, a few weeks, and it was talking about Nintendo not reusing their franchises, you know, not recycling them, not um, having, you know, a Mario Kart 9 for the Wii U, or, you know, for example. Um, F Zero. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had an F Zero yet, so get on that. Um, but how, how do you guys feel about Nintendo not doing um, reusing their franchises? Like, let's say as if um, it's a Call of Duty franchise or Battlefield, for example. It might be what they're afraid of, but I can't see them dropping their their poster boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering where's F Zero. I mean, I'm, I'm like. I think like, everyone wants an F Zero, but I'm like. Um, thank you, Nintendo, for giving us a 200cc to make Mario Kart 8 to make like a, a semi beginner F Zero, but we want the actual thing. I want online F Zero, please, and thank you. <laughs> for 3DS and Wii U. Uh, cross Wii U. compatibility. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I think, you know, I, I, I do commemorate them for doing, um, going with it. And. You know, as long as they uh, p provide enough support for those, you know, current games for, you know, whatever current console, then, you know what, I'm fine with it. And, um, you know, coming out with a new uh, game but with the, you know, similar title and all that similar stuff is going to pretty much, gonna, you know, going to taint the image and, you know, kind of ruin it and, you know, um, uh, lower the hype and, you know, it's kind of like how Call of Duty was. You know, it was so hype, you know, back then, and now it came out it's every the same spring. thing over and over. Yeah. Did it, I say it... Super Mario 64 earlier? I meant to say Super Smash Brothers 64. And that's what I'm looking for. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry what? When we were talking about Virtual Console. Uh, well, you... I wanted Super Smash Bros. 64. Yeah, I, I told you. It was already on the Wii. It is? I'm looking for it. Oh, on the oh, Wii? Yeah, it not is. the it Wii U? Is. Not, not on the Wii U. You have to look it on, on, the, on the Wii. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have a Wii. Oh, well, yeah, I have uh... a Wii, but I, I don't... Sorry, that, that, that's what I meant. I want it. I want it on my Wii U. Oh, but I think you can switch it to Wii mode, and then you can find it from there. I think. Oh. Then why, 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 why are we getting all hyped that they're adding Virtual Console 64 if they've already had the 64 stuff on the Wii version? You have scale. One step. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I'm just surprised with the D, DS one. Yeah, yeah, that that too, and. Um, I, it just also means that they're adding more N64 stuff, you know, so, okay. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And, you know, um, especially it's kind of convenient for those who, you know, don't have those games, period. So it's like, there you I go. never had a chance to buy them because some of those games are really hard to find. Like I was looking for Metroid Prime Trilogy. That thing is expensive on eBay or Amazon. Yeah. But it's only 20 bucks on Virtual Console. <laughs> Yep. Digital, digital is the best. That's, well, that's the power uh, of digital. It has its pros. I'm never. I'm not gonna go ahead and say it's the best, but it has its a lot of. Oh no! Nice. I didn't mean my best. That was me slipping the tongue. <laughs> I meant by mm. digital has its advantages. Perks. Yeah. Just it's like perks. PC has a lot of perks, mm -hmm. but they also have a lot of negative issues. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Same with like, consoles. <laughs> you're mad at Team Ninja not being able to port. Correct. Actually, I'm playing DOA 5 right now on PC, and it plays actually very well. Really? You weren't happy and like it, that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> trust me, it's because I didn't see the game. It's, it's The thing is, people didn't see the game. That's why they're mad. They assumed that the game was going to be bad, and I was in one of the people that assumed. But if you look at this comparison um, of the PC and the PS4, I'm like, why were we complaining? How many nude mods are out? There's no mods yet. There's no mods yet. 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 Please don't mod our um, game. Buy our DLC. When it comes to um, when it comes to um, the content, I can understand people's frustration. Okay, this is my review of it. I'm gonna pull up my review because mm. I think the thing is, is the game runs so well, like no lag, no issues, like. Right now they have a little controller input issue, but uh, besides that, it's like there's no issues. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me load it up. Cause the game is it's really good. Like, it, if y'all just look at the comparison pictures I put on Skype. Okay. Um. Okay. So here's my review as I look at it. For any negative review that you may see is just a bunch of salty fans that just probably didn't even check out the performance yet on the game. Despite the less features that didn't come to this port, the game runs perfectly, pretty solid and no lag and issues have occurred since I played this. So technically it's not a bad port per se. It may, it might not have the flashy particle effects the PS4 has and the skin tone soft engine that just makes the skin appear soft or realistic. When I looked at the P PC version for a while, I'm like, I don't see the difference. The quality of the game looks really great. The two new stages, of course, are missing, but I realized that this is actually a replica of the DOA 5 Ultimate Arcade in Japan that has the two new characters, but not the new stages. Hopefully seeing that I see, hopefully seeing that I see DLC in the store page and also in the um, Steam DB on uh, the mm -hmm. database, it has unnamed um, DLC um, listings. Hopefully, I'm sure they will add the rest of the stages at a later date. Online support is will come in another three months. As much as it is a brawlsome for all of us fighting game fans for online, it comes. It is coming, and it's better than having no online period because they could just like you know not include online at all and that and never say that it's going to come. Mm -hmm. So while offline, I can learn the game's basic controls and gameplay mechanics. So when I'm online, when the online comes out, I won't look like a scrub mashing buttons and not knowing what I'm doing. Buy this, buy this for a collection for your fighting game library and pleasure. I put pleasure for a reason and just to learn the game until online comes out. Otherwise, you can wait till sell a sale happens or when online is implemented. So mm -hmm. in summary. The port is great with no performance issues or lag. Negative reviews just show soft defense to rant for less for of what they had got. I can understand the frustration, but goodness, 
play the game. It plays so good. Be smart and test the game out before judging the fact that it does it doesn't have the little features it could have. A great running game with less flashy features is better than a broken game with less flashy features. Mm. Yeah. That's 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 my synopsis. And I'm like, I'm I'm right now still playing a game. I'm like, it's the game doesn't have online, but I'm learning. I I the last DOA game I played was on the 3DS was Dimensions. Mm-hmm. So it's like this game plays, runs well. I'm like, I'm having fun. I mean, people can get mad for not having all the other stuff, but maybe it'll come later, maybe not. But now we just got to deal with what we have. Oh, nice. Um, yes. uh, Wario, though, um, sorry, I kind of want to go back to the uh, the franchise part. How do you feel about them not um, going back to, um, you know, certain franchises that, you know, despite having, you know, sell well, not they're not going to go 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 ahead and you know reuse it for wh- whenever which year i think at the moment with not having the franchises come out is pretty smart for them because they could just bring it out anytime they want mm-hmm. just think about that so i say no. go ahead i say no go know, ahead i'm sorry just let them let them hold hold the, the franchises on, on a show mm-hmm. and when when they're ready to fly back out to the world that's when we're going to get it mm-hmm. so it's so it's more to me a, a waiting game mm-hmm. yep well the, like the whole not selling the franchise because it doesn't sell well can go both ways look at capcom and dog stalkers mm-hmm. look at capcom and dog stalkers like you, I you, want that you, tease, <laughs> you tease us a Dark Stalkers 4, but you only expect it for it to actually be alive if every if a certain amount of people buy the arcade version or, or the, the online edition of it. Mm. And as much as it may have sold well, it was not up to your numbers. Yep. I'm like, what? You can still get so you can still get um, good numbers when you release that D D way um the um the Dark Circus Four, mm-hmm. but nope, Capcom was Capcom, and I was just like screw them. So it can yeah. go both Capcom, ways. Capcom, I don't think wants to take any risks after Cross Tekken. They, they they're just sticking. I think they're sticking to what they know will make money, which is Street Fighter Five. They yeah. they, they screw and themselves mobile over games. that. Mm-hmm. Mobile games. See, I'm just saying have... that's probably why they ain't taking risks, like like because Darkstalkers is a risk. It it's like while there is a very vocal following community, when you have other games that because this is the thing about fighting games is if we have too many, there's only so many slots in tournaments. There's only so many places tournaments can be held. If we have too many, certain right. ones are going to be knocked off at the bottom, and you don't want to make a fighting game that's one of those. So that's why I think that they're not making a Darkstalkers just yet. I just hope we can see one in the future because I didn't, I didn't play Darkstalkers during that time, but the the art style looks very nice. Mm-hmm. It, it's a fighting game I would probably play if they like tweaked it up, you know, made it nice. If it kind of like, I don't know, it, it looks day. fun. I'll play that over Street Fighter, honestly. Oh yeah. Because the Street Fighter Four right now, I'm just tired of it. I'm really tired <laughs> of it right now. Well, well, like, you've been playing Street Fighter Four for like six years you know granted but even then like there's people still <laughs> you know, play it because they like it like there was yeah, street fighter yeah, 4 but it doesn't one. mean it doesn't get old to them i mean look at daigo he's like i'm gonna go and account <laughs> <laughs> that dumb freaking April Fool's Dude, joke. That's not dumb. i'm just saying <laughs> street fighter 4 was my first pc <laughs> game and i think it's just the fact that i either just suck or is just the fact that I have a bad controller? I'm just having, I'm just really having a hard time with that game, keeping up with its pacing, because everybody has found out a bunch of things about it, and I'm just yeah, like, I can't deal, I can't deal with this. It's like what Max says: if you get to a game late, you're you're gonna have a really hard time. You gotta yeah. grind like twice as hard as everyone else. I mean, that's the thing. That's just I've, how it is. I grind hard with this game, but it was just the fact that I can't keep up with everybody because everybody plays this game for like. X amount of hours, like more than. I like, feel like six that hours. with Marvel. I, I could not get into Marvel because everything was too fast for me. I felt like everyone was so ahead. I was like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I was about to get into Skullgirls. I'm like, I can finally air combo. I mean, like, I can see how Marvel's Capcom has a strict air combo because you got to be strict with it. But with 
uh, with um, Schoolgirls. I was just playing a few weeks ago. I'm like, my goodness, I can air come on now. It's, it feels it feels fun and great. Get online, infinite for days. I'm like, I'm done with this game. There's no real infinite in that game. Well, it's no real infinite, but it's just the fact that people can continue and continue and continue and continue. It won't let you breathe. Yeah, that's just how those team fighters work, which is why I'm not really a fan of team fighters. But right. like, I always was more of the one-on-one kind of guy. But sure. for the most part, there are those loops, and there is I know for a fact setups. Like for a while, people were using. Like I, I followed Skullgirls for a little bit. Like basically, I think the when I before they added um, Bale, the top team was like the Fukia, mm-hmm. Philia. I'm Fukia. Fukia, yeah, um, Philia, I like her. Cerebella team, I think. But for a while, when the game first came out, there was like a lot of Valentines, but she fell off because people learned her command throw get- gimmicks and stuff. Mm. People but. be using a lot of um, um, what was her, what's her name? Big Ben. Not Big Ben. Uh, Peacock. Peacock. Span- Peacock. Span for days. Peacock fell off. Pe- <laughs> Just get a uh, get a double assist. And use the Fuku well, I use Fuku and, and, and um and Philia because that that's yeah. the only characters I know that act that feels good that yeah. I can actually do an air combo. They're, they're, they are the Ryuish characters. They have the well, I don't know. I can't say for Fuku, but for Philia, you know, they have the the down no. the forward fireball motions. Oh the yeah, the, motions yeah, and, the Ryu, yeah. Fuku is the same yeah. way. She has uh, I, I haven't house. played Skullgirls since release because I was on Xbox and Microsoft said fuck that game and I didn't get any of the patches so I fell behind. So, well, I'm just saying no, Fukua plays like Ryu because oh, whoa, 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 she has I think we're getting off topic here. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, so I don't know how we got to Skullgirls, but you know. <laughs> franchise. Okay, so we were talking about franchises and then Capcom and then fighters and then Skullgirls. <laughs> we love fighting games. Well, yeah, we really, expect yeah. a bunch of dudes not mm-hmm. to talk about fighting games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me but, then. Give me my Toxinoco versus Capcom too, please. You know, I wanted to play that game because Zero is in it, and then I wanted to play Marvel 3 because Zero is in it, and then <laughs> everyone learned to hate Zero. Yep. <laughs> because everybody because learned how to hate T.O.D. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, we did t- kind of talk about mobile games with Capcom, you know, kind of not taking risks. Um, Nintendo and mobile games are going to be a thing. Um, it's been confirmed a couple weeks back. And how do you guys feel about that? Safe I just strategy. <laughs> I just don't want to see a Mario on PC. If I see a Mario on PC, then I'm gonna slap um, Nintendo some sense because like y'all are supposed to be an independent um, gaming company that's strictly on your consoles only. Now that's the only reason for me when it comes to PlayStation and Xbox. Their some of their games are like cross platform. Like most of their games will go cross platform. Like. For them, I'm like, if they can go cross platform, most of the games should be coming to PC. For mm-hmm. Nintendo, they can they're just fine because they're they only worry about their own resources, not PC. Mm-hmm. But if I see anything about PC uh, um a Nintendo game on PC, I'ma riot. Mm-hmm. I'ma literally riot. I like yeah. y'all like I could see a little bit um things with um with the mobile. Just please don't touch PC. Touch PC, you you I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ender, um, what's your input on this? Well, I, I think I, I typed this up in the uh, chat Yeah. Um, earlier. It was... Um, the thing about mobile market is... Well, what people don't see, uh, as us gamers, we don't really see, like... Or at least for me, I don't see Facebook games or mobile games really as games at all to me. Most of the time, they're just not really appealing. Like, I'd only play them if I was, like, waiting in line at, like... A dentist appointment or something yeah you know in in a waiting room but there are a lot of people you know who don't game oh that are getting into games it's like a, a, a what is it a gateway drug i guess i could say an initiator a primer mm. and it's on, honestly a bigger market in the mobile games yeah. than it is a console or a pc uh gaming because more people in the world have uh, smartphones or some sort of phone that can support that yeah. rather than a console because a phone has multiple applications it's actually uh, necessary most of the time because you know you need to get a job you need to have a phone number they can call you by you need right you need a phone to contact somebody if you break down and it's just 
a wider market. And if we have a Mario on a touch phone, you know, that, that's okay. I mean, if they can put Minecraft on a phone, mm. they could put Mario on a phone. Yeah. And I, I think it's a good market strategy as long as they don't neglect uh, their own console. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's as long fine. as they don't that's neglect fine. it, I don't have an issue with it. Um, I, I think a lot of people are worried. They're like, oh, no, they're going mobile. They're never going back. That, that That's not the thing. If you should look right. at it as more as they're probably going to put – other things on mobile and it'll make them more money so that when they do make you know the bigger franchises like zelda u they have more money to make sure that they can put higher enough programmers to make sure it's not buggy higher enough artists so it looks beautiful and yeah. they just got to look at it like that and it's a very um business and financial way to look at it but that's like Back in high school, I wanted to get in gaming industry, so I went to Gamma Sutra all the time and did a bunch of research on like marketing and stuff. But right. eventually, I was like, I don't want to get into that because I found out it was all like contract work, and I was like, oh boy. But uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. So, like, yeah. looking at it, I think it's really good for Nintendo to branch out and do these things. But so long as they don't lose sight of you know what sets them unique, because by far Nintendo, despite their being Vita's and. Um, stuff like that yeah they they rule the mobile market with con uh handhelds yes now i believe they could most likely rule the mobile market period like mm. because they know how to, to make games that appeal to multiple age groups without you know sacrificing one or the other so like yeah. we were talking about splatoon like how me as a middle-aged dude it appeals to me as a shooter, but you know there are kids me looking at it, being like, "Oh, that looks so fun! It's so colorful!" And they just know how to market these things. So if they can get people of all ages on all their phones, because because you know like eight year olds have cell phones now, yes. even though I didn't have my, mine till I was sixteen, but <laughs> uh, it's just it's good. I mean, as long as they're also not microtransactiony, which a lot of them are, which they might like the be, new, like the new Pokemon. Pokemon Rumble um, Blast. Um, Rumble no, I, have, I have no idea. I didn't pay attention to that until it's a Pokemon fighting game. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But, but, is um, it, but it's a, it is kind of an action game. Fighting. Uh, fight, fighting well, I'm a fighter. Uh, I, if I wanted to go beat up a bunch of dumb NPCs, I'd play Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it'll make them money. And it's low risk, high reward mm. marketing. And yeah, um, you know, just, that's just all like I have to say about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <Diet. just> like, <laughs> about that. Diet. Um, uh, um, before I go, go and um, is that you, Kaichi, pushing the keyboard? Um, no, that's my that's my controller, and my for some reason my mic or my headphones have stopped working, so you kind of hear my camera, my webcam head, um on speaker, so you hear oh. that, unfortunately. Okay. That's my key. that's my controller. Sorry about that. Oh, oh it's alright. Um, yeah, so I wanted to um, you know say that yeah, like what Ender Ender said, it's you know just like just as long as they don't neglect the the Wii U and you know their console games, I'm completely fine with that. And you know if they can make uh, um, that much more money, they can make better console games. So um, that you know they, people got to see it that way and instead of just like. Oh, mobile mobile gaming. Oh God, why did they enter that part of the business? You know, because um, you know, like of course, mobile gaming is known for microtransactions and time wall or paywalls and time walls and all that crap. Um, especially with like you know, what is it? Well, Clash of Clans and whatever the fuck they put out nowadays. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's just as long as you know they're. Um, focus on everything else, then I'm fine with that. Um, Wardo, um, anything you got to say about mobile gaming and Nintendo? Let them go. Go for broke. Let them go. Let them go? Yep. Yeah. Let them dip into it. They, they might find like one way to do mobile gaming that others might not like. You know, just let them, let them have a taste. Mm. of mobile gaming and it's Nintendo they can just pull out you know really fast if they see red flags yeah so yeah just Which don't I taste PC very unlikely don't take PC <laughs> just don't taste PC if you taste yeah. PC then you just like um, Microsoft and Sony and I'm like screw you guys 
Mm. Let's be honest people. here. People put Nintendo games on PC on their own. Mm-hmm. The ROMs and no, that's that's just the ROMs. As far as legally terms, don't oh, it's me. legal as long as you own the game. <laughs> no, as long as their own console independence on theirs. Like, granted, we can put the ROMs and everything and make it enhance as much as we want. I'm talking about as far as official terms. I don't want to see a coming to Nintendo and PC. I, I don't want to see that. I honestly don't see them going to PC because. Yeah. If you look back, Nintendo is the gods of having a console mm. and then having a bunch of accessories that come out with it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, a phone. <laughs> it's so pretty they, much. They, they've been doing this market before smartphones even came out. Yeah. They, they've been doing the microtransactions. Let's just say I wasn't able to play Donkey Kong uh, 64 because I didn't have that uh, RAM socket thing. Granted. All that, slap on that, the front of it, which was there by design. It's not like they're like, oh, we got to add something to the to make sure this game works. No, they, no, they planned it. They, they, they like, planned it. They planned it. Like yeah. if you look back, I mean, like transfer cables, you got you got super scopes, mm. you got you, you got additional controllers. I mean, they are just the kings of spreading it out, which I think is better than having one big package. I know it, it's not right. I mean, yeah. you end up paying more in the end, but it's more efficient for people who have to pay. Like and also and they stuff. made, they so. made the mic for Hey You Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I had that game. I thought there was an end to it. I played it a lot, and there there was no end. Nope, it was just a, it was just a safari adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yep. It was so hard to get Pikachu to bring Bulbasaur the right ingredients. I was like, please just grab the apple. <laughs> ah, scribbly marks. I'm like, grab the apple. <laughs> grab the apple. <laughs> Maybe. You, Maybe instead of speaking in English, you should have spoken Japanese. Or peak, or or speak Pikachu. <laughs> Pika Pika Pikachu. Or, <laughs> or or speak like Eagle Raptor. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Pikachu, do your your Donald Boat Smash thing. Go. <laughs> Break a Defeat it now, bitch. <laughs> uh. Oh, um, Raptor needs to be on Max's stream one day. One oh, day, no. right? Oh, <laughs> no. The crossover well, of those, uh, those, uh, those on universes is going to be unparalleled. <laughs> you think Best Friends and Max is pretty... Yeah, Max and Best Friends are best fit at the moment. Game Grumps Game and oh. your video games. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> Game unless they, unless the um, game girls can behave themselves, then <laughs> are you kidding? Are you oh, kidding? No. Oh no! We're talking about, hey, look at this katana outfit, and it's freaking gay porn. <laughs> you talking about what? people behaving themselves? Oh yeah, Kenny, that stream? Kenny As... kept showing gay, gay porn, and Steve was like, "You joking?" Max bro. was like, "What is this fatality?" Kenny's like, "I got it right here on my phone." <laughs> Max turns around. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> no one uh, wants to see a bunch of people, you know, behaving themselves. They want to see a bunch of dudes having fun mm-hmm. and do debts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, especially the wife. The wife, yes. Your w- wife can, yeah, uh, freaking um, Susie is her name. Is that, is that is that Ego Raptor's um, Mortimer, freaking Mortimer. Ego Raptor needs the uh, making more Star Bomb stuff. That's that's all I want to say about that. Is there anything else we need to touch up on from the Nintendo Direct? Uh, you gotta talk on uh, streaming guy maintains say X Fire Emblem finally yes, got uh, finally some... got. I didn't even know what that was. I was just like, hey, is this an anime? As soon as I recognized <laughs> it, <laughs> no, no. As soon as I then somebody that... was like, hey, you need to link uh, link Max's face for me. So I was like, okay. <laughs> in the emotes and they're like anime <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> now when I saw the um and I was like at first I was like okay uh, that, that it says Atlas so like she's probably either Persona or Shin Megami and then I'm like instantly in the tent, I was like oh Shin Megami Tens X Fire Emblem and then I'm like when I first saw it, and then I saw the animations in detail I'm like oh freaking Shin Megami Tens X Fire Emblem I don't see how people had a hard time figuring it out. Like, I guess they just forgot about it. I don't know what Shinigami X takes whatever is. <laughs> well, you know, okay. it's like they, they announced it. 
like three, two years ago. It. People just forgot about it. They just forgot. Other about than it. other than Persona Arena it's, and it's BB okay. and just GG, lie down. I don't know it's what okay. Atlas does. <laughs> It's okay. okay. Just lie down. Just lie down. Just lie down. Just, <laughs> lie down. You, it's okay. <laughs> You're done here. Just lie down. I'm always up for some crossover games, especially on the Wii U. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> crossover so, games. So why isn't there a crossover game of Pokemon and Digimon? Because Digimon's kind of dead. Excuse not me. Not really. It's not dead because they actually bring it back to. It's like it's. I don't know about their games, but as far as their um. In, in, in comparison, okay, we we got. Okay. Oh well, well, I mean, yeah. In comparison with Pokemon, yes, it um, Pokemon is very dominant in the market. Yes. Yeah, that's. But it is not completely out of the loop. Did with... you? I haven't seen Digimon in forever. I haven't seen it advertised in forever. <laughs> I haven't seen Digimon anything. <laughs> well, like, you're all in Japan because Japan, yeah. they're about to bring out an anime and there's also a new game. I've never been to Nippon. Nippon. <laughs> it's actually a new game for um, Digi for Digimon that's coming out in Japan. Oh. What platform? Um, I think either... I gotta check. Let me find it. I'm okay. guessing When's PlayStation. Monster Rancher? What? <laughs> oh, oh god, Monster Rancher. Oh man. When's Monster Rancher? When's Monster Rancher? <laughs> When's Beyblade? Oh. When's, uh, <laughs> when's Metabots? Metabots. <laughs> when's Zoids? Zo oh, man. Stop it. It's too much. I, 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 still, I, still <laughs> own, I still own the GBA um, Rakusho version of Metabots. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that is pretty sick. <laughs> I lost the, the Metal B version, though. Thanks, cousin. Oh, oh it's PS Vita. PS Vita. PS oh, Vita. Vita. Okay, well. Oh, so a dead console got it. A dead <laughs> <laughs> A dead platform got it. Damn it. <laughs> well? Well, oh well. <laughs> what can you say? Um, speaking of consoles, uh, I do want to touch upon uh, Nintendo with its uh, Project NX. Um, not What's much that? has been said. Yeah, this is probably anything to even say. It's like all they release is a name. All yeah. it's gonna have is updated graphics. But what is their controller? What, what they're gonna? What's their scheme of this one? Because um, I think with the Wii, was just motion control. The Wii U was the ta tablet. What are they gonna do with this one? Well, 3D. <laughs> <laughs> what is the 3DS? That's what the 3DS is. That's what 3DS is for. Like, why would they want to put it on the console? Fine. You get more people headaches. Oculus Rift. <laughs> exactly. No. no. I no. No, what no, they're gonna reality. do is they're gonna go back to the N64 roots and make you have to be a machamp to use your controller. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or or take it as far back as like Virtual Boy or something with their red ass friggin' like binoculars. Goggles, binoculars looking thing with with the stand. <laughs> oh. No. But Number three. Um, Number two, number yeah. two, sir. Uh, but if you, uh, I don't know if you guys watched um, uh, Simmons, you know, talk about the NX. You know, he says that it's like, um, I think, I, I think I'm, um, I could be wrong, but it's not a console, but like a, a system where it crosses over like the mobile marketing and all the other like stuff that Nintendo has, and, hmm. and onto like a system. Like kind of like how there's like that Apple TV thing. Probably. Like, I, don't see I how can that's see possible. that. Like, you just plug it into your TV so you can play your mobile games on your TV instead of on your phone. Yeah. I don't see how that's the case for seeing that. Um, he They only announced that just to, you know, clarify the people. Because when they announced that they was going to partner up with mobile, with D DNA, uh, with the mobile market, yeah. the people were immediately start thinking that, you know, oh, my goodness, they're going mobile only. They only announced that just to clarify people. There's an actual write-up of them saying that uh, we're still we're still um, continuing the you know their councils and such. So mm -hmm. thus we are announcing that we're, we're making an NX. Please find out. I think we NX. can all agree that consoles are revealed at E3 though. They always are. So yeah, they'll probably say something about the NX, um, and it's most likely going to be a console just because you know, like I just said, they've just said the name. Only to clarify that, 
they're not just focusing on mobile games, but you know consoles, and they just threw out the NX name out there. Um, so we can't really say much because nothing has been said other than the name, but we can only speculate so much. And yeah, that's all, pretty much all we can say about that. Um, now we can probably move on to something else. Um, Kojima late being you know not being a part of uh, Konami anymore. How do you guys feel about that? I don't really know anything what's going on here, so y'all might need to explain to me in the layman'sness of terms what's going on besides man leaving place. Uh, well, basically, uh, Konami does not know what to do anymore. Kind of like what Capcom is, and um, Kojima is like, "Fuck it, you know, you guys don't know what you're doing. I'm leaving." pretty much and you know or or just like um other drama and all that stuff and you know i thought about it and you know and um it came to me and this you know um you know silent hills and phantom pain are very much similar with the case of Mega Man legends 3 because um the creator for the Mega Man series left in a similar fashion from capcom because of what Capcom wanted him to do with their Mega Man series and um, him not agreeing with it and so on and so forth. So um, I would say that Kojima, you know, is following the same footsteps as following um, the same, yeah, Kenji, yeah, Kenji, and pretty much um, those two games are gonna um, gonna be the next Mega Man Legends three. Um, I don't know if they're canceled. Uh, or are they still continuing? No, to they're still them? being made. They still he's because Jima said that he, he's still going to continue process, um, continue making um, um, five, um, five. Um, but after that, he's done. Oh, but, um, okay. as far as far as um, Silent Hills, that's just recently updated that his name was taken off of that. So we oh. don't know. The, we don't know anything about that one. Okay. And that's going to oh. be kind of a heart. That's going to be a heartbreaker for Max because Max love. PT. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, uh, mind you, they said that PT was supposed to get people in the mood, and that um, Silent Hill was never confirmed to play like PT at all. So I don't know. I um. Well, I mean, at the time, I did have faith that you know Silent Hills is gonna be gonna play kind of like at least PT. I mean, it'll at least have the same feel. Like you know, the, the atmosphere. Uh, I believe they could pull yes. up, but they like as where like the, the mechanics and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and where controls. controls they, I think they just come up came up with that because because oh we, we it's a demo we need to come up with something, but they did you know uh, were able to um, you know show that like hor- you know that nice horror atmosphere that you know um, that you, uh, people have seen in PT so. Um, as long as they get that down, uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. But it's like it's a matter of how it actually controls. It's any guess goes. So um, it might change things drastically because you know, um, like Kaiji said, Kojima's name is off the project. Looks like so yeah. he's not p- going to be um, part of the uh, the development. It looks like so. It might change things um, drastically. So it, you know, it could be either. Well, it could be either um, be less, um, you know, good, I guess, or probably the worst thing. I can say, you know, if mm-hmm. Kojima was still in it, it would have been. I, I would say it would have been um, much more robust, much more, um, much more of a, you know, a good game, but. Who knows? It, you know, it, they might be able to pull off something. I don't know. It, it, it's just, this is just so recent. It's just anything goes. So yeah, just, just let's just write this out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let it write out. <laughs> um, I, I, I've been thinking about getting Silent Hills, and I never own any uh, um, Silent Hill game. So I'm not much like, of a horror game person myself. So yeah. Oh yeah, I, no yeah, knowing you, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> None. Nope. <laughs> Not gonna see Fatal myself frame, though. Fatal, Fatal frame, frame. Fatal frame. Fatal frame. Fatal frame. Yeah, they finally localized it. And yeah. they finally look like as I don't know if anyone's a, a, a Attack on Titan fan or anything, but they finally localized that, which I didn't expect either. Oh really? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the Attack on Titan 3DS game. It didn't look like a good game. It actually <laughs> was. 
Is it? I think I think it was actually well. Like it was actually good. Everyone in like Thero's chat was like, "Man, if only it was a good game." <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, oh well. I just well, I just know that I, I didn't know it was gonna get localized. Hmm. Well, it, I mean, it'll probably course. make money. There there are Attack on Titan fans in in America oh, that dude, don't it, have it's, uh, uh, Japanese Wii U's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now yeah. please localize freaking the stream of Toad and Dragon Ball Z. They just oh. they just announced that on um they you finally the, made a trailer yeah oh yeah yeah the three it's a, it's on the 3ds right yes and, and they it, just announced it and it plays like an arc system um fighting game yeah it's basically made the same people that made super um super sonic warriors one and oh, two oh yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. and just looking and as far as me looking at the trailer and the gameplay I'm like this is basically super sonic warriors three oh, all <laughs> right mm. they just call it Batota. yeah. Well, unfortunately, uh, it's only in Japan so far, and yeah, and it's not on the console, so I'm not too interested, um, just because when it comes to 3D, uh, 3DS or like handheld games, I'm very particular with certain games. I only yeah, play like Pokemon, same. yeah, Pokemon, like R some certain RPGs and Animal Crossing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and yeah, certain like. What about that Animal Crossing thing they announced? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know that, 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 um. What do you call that house thing? House customization. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, what do you think about the uh, dude? When I saw that, I was like, yeah, "They're gonna make an Animal Crossing trading card game." And then it was like, "Oh, <laughs> sorry." Oh. I, I mean, I, I love trading card games. So somebody clarified that they um they probably um wanted to avoid furries, so they didn't make that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, that, that's what someone said in the like Thero chat. I think it was actually like Thero himself. He was like. Nintendo too afraid to make a, a handful of furry amiibos, so they turn them into cards. <laughs> but but as I explained, you know there is Bowser and Yoshi, and they but are. These ones are like, I don't know. Yes, don't but know. <laughs> when you get into the. Furry uh, I thought it was a funny remark, but like I haven't like we had this discussion, and it was like you know if, if it floats your boat, yeah. but you ain't ferrying me. No, I'm... no. We'll, we'll we'll fly you onto the boat, then ship you off. The and you, yeah, you can get on your own boat, but I'm probably gonna get on that raft over there. Yeah, you're gonna get on the <laughs> raft and run away. And I'll <laughs> roll myself to the destination. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll be like, "You're missing the party. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's a lot smoother <laughs> over here on my party boat." But yeah, well, basically. You know, I, I think the card thing, honestly, I don't think it was that. I think it was they didn't, because I don't know how many neighbors there are in Animal Crossing. I think it's a lot, and I don't think it's they wanted to have. I don't think they wanted to have to make a thousand more amiibos just for Animal Crossing. So yeah, I think it was also, a money. I think yeah. it was a money thing. Yeah, and I also feel that they're gonna do that, do the same same exact thing with Pokemon if they ever come around making a, <laughs> amiibo Pokemon for whatever reason. Whether it whether they're gonna have a Pokemon console game or whatever. Eight hundred amiibos of Pokemon, everyone get this this hashtag it. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that's another thing. Hmm? What's up? Oh, we I think we lost Ender. Oh, Ender? No. Ender Ender Stop downloading your porn. Ender. Ender. <laughs> Stop downloading porn. <laughs> Okay, sorry, my um, I unplugged the charger out of my Xbox One controller. No, what you like, um, I think it was another thing. The accessory to scan the cards into your DS, accessory money. Yeah. Accessory mm. money. So. Oh, yeah, see, see, look, and but we don't even care. We don't get mad. Oh my! You don't see people posting those. Oh my God! I can't believe that I gotta buy a scanner just to use these other things that I already have to buy. People don't get mad at that. Nintendo's been doing it, so, you know. Right. And We're it's your choice if you want to buy it or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but how, how else would you play that game if you... I'm not going to play that go... game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to choice. buy that game for my girlfriend. She loves, she loves Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Goodbye. Yeah. I still haven't played New Leaf yet. No, you haven't played. Uh, I can't play. Uh, I'm a, I'm a Harvest Moon guy, and I also have to be in the mood for that. So I can't really play Animal Crossing because like I'm, not. I'm used to be like, man, 
Oh, I don't, like just turning it off and the world's paused. I can't like, man, I gotta go water my flowers. <laughs> the last Animal Crossing I played was the first one back on the GameCube. Wow. That's how, that's how... when it was just a game that was just supposed to like, hey, we got an in-game clock on our console. Ain't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> And hey, you know that memory card that you have? Yeah, we're going to take the whole damn thing. Yeah, for right. Its you memory. might as well call that the Animal Crossing cartridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, I'm sorry. You want to transfer this data into a bigger one? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> Did you know you know that um, Animal Crossing was first on the was on the N64? Well, only in Japan. Oh real? Yeah, for real. yeah, but it wasn't called Animal Crossing, was it? It wasn't was like Dobu. It's like Dobutsu no Mori, which means uh, Animal Forest rather than Animal yeah. Crossing. Yeah. Um, hmm. Little, no, little known fact for those people who are watching, I guess. Um, yeah, it was a N sixty four game, and it was only in Japan. And the GameCube version is the enhanced version of that game. So. Oh, well then. Yeah. Up, obviously with up yeah obviously with updated graphics blah 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 you know that the works so that yeah, was pretty much it and i suggest everyone here that's watching to go go watch the anime of animal crossing it's... oh yeah <laughs> I've, I've seen it there's yeah. an anime i did not know what this it's it, uh it's it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good it's cute it's yeah cute. exactly <laughs> it's cute you should give it a watch if you have time i think there's only what 20 episodes or less or it's like yeah, it's like pretty short. It's really short. Oh, it's um yeah, less than fifteen, I believe. Yeah, it's like twelve or something like that. It's yeah. it's a it's it's a normal kind of a seasonal anime. Yeah. Yeah. It's very yeah. short. Um, so short you, to you, the point. Yeah. That, to the it. point. It's short to the point, but it's very uh, yeah. Um, let's just say it's cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because um, like, when I saw I it, think... I was like, huh. Hmm. Animal Crossing, I think let's we watch. still have to touch up on Mario Kart. So. Oh yeah, the uh, friggin' two hundred since we're on since we're talking CC. about Animal Crossing. Two hundred CC, baby. <laughs> you know. Well, well, I mean, we are getting the Animal Crossing DLC. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have Mario Kart. I didn't no, even I know what CC meant. I had to like catch on that that meant like the cars go faster. I had to catch yeah. on to that. I was like. What the fuck does C? What the fuck do you mean the CC? I was like, it's well, what... cubic centimeters. It's I a... was like, what does this matter? <laughs> I have no idea. It's your <laughs> engine size. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger uh, engine means you go faster. <laughs> Bigger engine means you go faster. Mm-hmm. But goodness, so it's is... super fast. <laughs> oh, <sighs> what are you trying to ask, Ender? Uh, I just didn't know. I was like, because I hadn't played a um, a kart racing game since Diddy Kong. Oh, okay. And, uh, I, was... I like that one because you had planes and boats and all that. And oh yeah, yeah. That, that was so fun. But yeah. Mario Kart has 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 parachute things. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's cool. Yeah, I'll probably get my like, and I remember just reading some comments. People were like, "Oh, great!" Because I don't get my butt handed to me enough in uh, 150 cc. Right. <laughs> Damn it! I got I got I got to do the uh, the 200 cc challenge now since I I've already done the 150 cc. Yeah, challenge. I heard I heard people said that 150 was actually kind of hard because it like, is hard. It's freaking hard, especially yeah, when I freaking... played seven. When I played seven, it was so hard. I don't think I even beat it. No. <laughs> no way. Oh God. Oh. But yeah, it's it's pretty frustrating, you know, with um, pretty much all the other Mario Kart games with one, uh, 150. But dude, holy shit, 200! Oh god, my god, oh man, that is top. that is a boss rage series waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's a little. It's like it, it still consists uh, consists of Mario Kart. Um, I think it was either IGN or GameSpot. They had Michelle Rodriguez playing you know the new mario kart and she said the last wii uh, mario kart game i played was on the wii the guy who was next to her the announcer or the the interviewer was like oh you mean mario kart 7 what? yeah uh, oh what? totally oh wow like, 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 
it's on YouTube, and I forget if it was IGN or GameSpot, but when I saw that, I was like, or heard that, I was like, okay, pause. What did he just say? Rewind? Uh, yeah, no, he's like, a dumbass. <laughs> I brought this up. It was like, that's another reason, like, when it comes to video like, Why is he interviewing a, on a game? <laughs> yeah, it's like, because it's, journal, his job. This, it's his job. It's his job. Like, I, I, I watched the first 25 minutes of... Uh, this is why we have bad reviews. I watched Polygon wa <laughs> play the first 25 minutes of uh, MKX, and it was painful. Um, <laughs> like, they... Like, oh my... I don't think they knew what the block button was. But anyways, the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the block button. <laughs> that, 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 that's one reason I uh, really like the Funhouse guys, formerly known as Inside Gaming. Inside Gaming, the yeah. dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel like you know while while, while they're kind of dickish and they make fun of every game. Yeah. At least they know what they're talking about. Yes. Yeah. You know, like uh, and not just on like just the games they play. They they know because they I, I don't. Yeah, like they were talking about how in a a video they were talking about how what negative edge was and how you can turn it off in MKX. Mm -hmm. And they actually knew what it was and they were talking about it. And they and when, whenever they were talking about like Mortal Kombat, they weren't just saying, oh, you can do cool... They weren't repeating the same stuff. And you can do cool stuff like these x-ray moves that make you break your bones. They were actually just talking about stuff that I wanted to know, you know? Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Like and the fact that they knew what negative edge was so it was like oh, okay so these guys actually despite not being fight mm -hmm. despite not being fighting game guys they mm -hmm. know what it is yeah but at least they do their research so or they're not Lawrence calling knows. Mario Kart <laughs> Wii Mario Kart Seven oh oh oh, <laughs> oh god makes me want to punch him gaming journalism him. everyone this uh, is why we have bad reviews yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah, review your own games. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. I think that's the message here. If I ever reviewed games, I'd probably just write articles and not have a number at the bottom. Not so have seven, a I mean, seven point eight no. out of ten, ten. Too much water. Because <laughs> <laughs> mm. yes, journalism. Yeah. Neg negative ten out of ten. Too hard. Too hard. <laughs> D don't want to finish. <laughs> so wait. Uh, so why is it? Why is it that you don't want to put a number? Or a scoring system. Because I feel like, because I actually do this. Whenever I look at a review, I'll just scroll to the bottom and see what the the number is. Nah. If if I want to write a review, I want people to know my actual thoughts um, and stuff. Thoughts of it all together. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, so, right I now. would just meet more of an article. Like just write an article. Like, mm -hmm. and that's just how it go. Because some people like will see like a number. Like, if, if I did it out of a 10 system and I gave it, like, a 7, they're like, oh, my gosh, that ain't that good. But really, it would be like, this game's really fun. It's just not really original. But you should still pick it up because it's a good thing. I'm just not going to give it a 10 because it didn't blow me out of the water. So yeah. I, and I, I also find myself having a hard time judging, like, putting a number on it. Yeah, It, it yeah. kind of makes it harder. So I'd rather just, like, write my thoughts, uh, write, write how I felt, write what I think the game brings and what it doesn't bring, and mm -hmm. then... Basically, just said uh, if I if I ever had some sort of rating, it would be like a don't buy it, rent it, buy it. And that would probably be the yeah. Scale. There's some streamers, there's some um, YouTubers that kind of does that, especially when it comes comes to anime. It's like buy it, stream yeah. it, rent it, some of that thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just, it's just I, I think numbers are kind of I don't think because kinda, one numbers aren't valid. Uh, yeah, it's and very that's hard why. Numbers. Because also you have to keep in mind people have different tastes. Like, yeah. uh, I came to the conclusion I like bad movies. All right, I liked the first Mortal Kombat movie. I liked Space Jam. I liked Jingle All the Way. Space mm -hmm. Jam is not a bad movie. Damn it! It <laughs> is as a movie. <laughs> I, I, I know. As I know, a movie, it is a know, bad I know, movie. But I know. It, I Come love on, that movie. And we'll go to that jam. Speaking <laughs> of which, for the April Fools, Dunkey uploaded Space Jam the full movie to YouTube. But it wasn't really the first, full movie. It was like, it plays the beginning. And then it got to the part where, you know, he's shooting basketball with his dad. He's oh, like, yeah. I'm going to go to North Carolina. And it was like, now that's, a, now that's a fine school, a real fine school. You can get a good education there. And then he's like, then I'm going to be on the NBA. 
and then you're like <laughs> dubbed over. Now that's a real fine school, real fine school. Wow. <laughs> and just kept playing it over, and then when it was going for the slow motion, you know, shot at the yeah. very end, before it, you know, plays the Space Jam song. Now that's a real fine school. Real fine school. <laughs> <laughs> Dun Dun Dunky's great. Yeah. Um, it was funny. I was watching Demolition D stream Bloodborne and he was actually talking about how he actually enjoys watching Dunky. And I was like, that's funny. Mm. <laughs> that's Shout funny. out to Dunky. 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 Uh, Dunky. I don't even like League. I love what he produces though. He, he is a... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> League. Yeah. <laughs> Earth's out. Earth's no, out, guys. No, yeah, no, no, you, no out. you are though. <laughs> I'm neutral towards it. I just don't mm. play because it's not my type of game to play. Exactly. Good. Yeah. Just... Don't don't chat with the community of League. You'll get a headache. Uh, the League yeah. community ain't bad. It's just the vocal minority of it. Before we continue, well, before we get some downvotes, because people are watching this. <laughs> you mean the ten year old? If people have gotten far th this far into it, I really doubt the League people. But anyways, I'm silver garbage, by the way. So you can say I just don't like League because I'm bad because I am. Silver high fives, never getting to. And gold. that was like that was like back in the season two. And I, I I I just was like I'm gonna get to score. Mm. Uh, I think we actually hit everything on the Nintendo Direct. Yeah, uh, I think besides so. A new, besides a new fire emblem and like it's going. Oh yeah, up... yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's kind of <laughs> neat. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the, about that. Um, four versions of Final fire Island. emblem go to sleep. You know, <laughs> is that what it is? You know, instead know. of awakening, fire emblem going to bed. <laughs> No, it's gonna be Fire Emblem over um three sixty five days over. Oh, four. oh, <laughs> something oh. right now. That's oh. right now. Fire Emblem anyway. Telltale? Is that what it is? Anyway, oh. this version supposedly is like the last one. You can make your own character, and you're basically like the the third person, like the third, like you're basically the not the protagonist, but like you're like the side character. Oh yeah, but, I yeah, think... but this time you're actually the main like the main protagonist of the whole series and you but there's choose, two like, characters two... so there's two sides to the story so you have to play it twice <laughs> yeah basically yeah but is but this is the thing i looked up on the Jap japanese version and it's gonna be two it's two games oh, that it's was like four. it's like poker it's like the it's like a version no it's well the oh US, the u.s is going to get one with the other mm -hmm. one being dlc the J japanese version gonna have two versions of the game like it's pokemon oh mm -hmm. That's yep. pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, I do want to kind of mention, you know, back to the uh, NX. Um, there was, uh, I forgot which site it was. I think it was like um, EB Games or something like that, where they're actually taking pre-orders for the NX. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That was, I heard about I, that. Yeah, that was Did like a few weeks back. Yeah, and it was like, I forgot how much it was, but it was like a ridiculous price. I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> this is this, this can't be real, <laughs> You're right?" And yeah, I don't know. It's just I I just found it really funny that it's like you don't even know if it's a console or not, but it's most you don't even know the is. price. You don't know. Yeah, exactly. He's like, you don't know the price. Five hundred ninety nine US dollars. <laughs> yeah. Five hundred ninety nine US. All right, um, oh, um, I do want to mention uh, the Zelda Wii U game being delayed. That was um, announced kind of kind of recently. I want to say um, it was recent. It was pretty okay. It was pretty recent. Yeah. Um, any it was any any thoughts opinions about that? As I hear Simmons crying. Really, I just like take your time. You, you make sure time. it's good. Like yeah. usually, like usually they will like you know make a video and then that's it and then just skip. Like, I wasn't like, really expecting it to come out this year unless they said so. Mm. Like, when it comes to their releases, they can't, they take, Nintendo takes their time. So when it comes to um, want to um, actually release a game, I just wait for them to um, yeah, actually say the something. first like, Zelda on this console, too. You don't want it to... Screw up. You well, there's Hyrule Warriors, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but this is gonna be the first like Zelda adventure game. So yeah, exactly. we want them. They, I think them taking their times. Like I, I was always really against people like right when they announce a game, giving a release date unless they're like 
oh, we're already done with it. Like, that's the only time I think they should do that. Like, but if they're, like, early in development and then they're revealing that they're working on it, I think they should go with it's what Blizzard used to do when it's ready. <laughs> like, just don't even give them a timeline because you need – I'd rather them not feel the pressure. Okay, guys, freaking May's coming up. We got to get this out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I yeah. know you're testing yeah, that, but it's probably good. I know. Well, well, let's just let's just move on to the next level, and then everyone's going to get there, and they're going to fall through the floor and then – bitch about it on reddit so Nintendo's not like that i know and i'm Nintendo's glad that they're like delaying that. it like i'm glad yeah. delays as long as they don't get delayed for years <laughs> yeah. so, oh. Oh. like oh um last guardian <laughs> the last guardian you mean the in, in, infinite delay or uh um, infinite delay yeah the infinite delay yeah that, that, or, that uh, or, or, or 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 yeah that's gonna be a yep, uh, yeah. NX uh, release title. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> yep. Or um, uh, Starcraft Ghost, if if any, um, if anyone remembers that. Oh yeah, that game will come out. <laughs> Half Life Three. Half Life Three. Oh yeah. <laughs> they never. He then he. They never even confirmed it. We just assumed they would make one because it is because the storyline is kind of a cliffhanger. Yeah. And then I also looked up a a pit uh, a natural. Um, gif or an uh, interview of Gabe actually talking about how he's kind of tired of them talking about um, Half Life Three, making jokes about it, and he says each time they say um, they talk about um, Half Life Three confirmed or something, some sort of joke, he pushes back some months. So many times people talk about it, I'm pretty sure he's kind of. I honestly like, don't think they're working on it. You're that's not. what I was like feeling as well. Uh, like I think, like. Um... It's somewhere. Uh, you guys could, because uh, I agree with the Funhouse guys. If you watch their podcast, they were talking about Half Life. Just go watch that, and you, you'll pretty much get my idea about it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, back to the Zelda being um, delayed. I mean, initially, yes, I was bo- um, bummed out because you know it's like they gave out a date. It's like, it, oh, it's gonna be uh, 2015, uh, probably by the end of the year. You know, but. Um, no, instead it's like somewhere in 2016, and you know, of course I, you know, I felt naturally bo- um, bummed out because you know I was looking forward to it, but you know, all in in the end, it's it's for the good, and you know, it's gonna only make the game better. And mm-hmm. this is not the first um, Zelda game, mind you. It's, Acceptance. <laughs> yeah, this is not the first game that they've delayed. I mean, they've or, they've delayed several other Zelda games, so it's not the not not nothing new. You know, and it's just all all because they they really want to make the game good. So I think yeah, they should see that and you know, um, and not feel too bummed out. It's all for the good. So, um, I think we've pretty much covered everything, like including all the other topics that um, we picked up like a couple weeks back, mm-hmm. including yeah, and and this um. Uh, April first, Nintendo Direct. Uh, I was pretty afraid that they were gonna say April Fool somewhere in, <laughs> in, in that video. No, they said but... they said on the beginning it was not a joke. I was really surprised with uh, this April Fool's. There wasn't as much BS, um, but surprising. Uh, how many yeah. t- how many times how many of y'all hit that the D- Rude button on the YouTube videos? I, I watched the the Rude stream. I didn't I, see it. I just I, I didn't just, see it. I, the guy the Rude was talking about how he made Sandstorm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just no. well, like again, since the April Fools, I saw Simmons's new video about talking about Kingdom Hearts, and then just reading all the comments, and I was like, guys, just just let him speak his mind out, please. <laughs> yes, it's April first. And then the uh, the <laughs> Briggs family trailer for MKX came out, and like the first one I saw was the Italian version. I'm like, is this, is this the April Fool's part? <laughs> no, it wasn't April Fool's. It was, here we go. But uh, yeah, so, I think these podcasts are really good. Yeah, I like uh, them. And I I linked in Skype one of the treasures I bought um, during my convention. Yeah, twenty dollars oh, well spent. Twenty dollars well spent. I can't. Can I see it on the Xbox? Oh. oh my god, that we fit trainer. It's an actual Super Smash Brothers playing deck. Wow. Oh, oh, also, also, oh, you, you guys are more in tune with Nintendo. Is there a Nintendo basketball game yet? Um, no. Yes, it is. No, oh, it is. There is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. 
freaking um yeah the yeah there was the Mario there's... one right well it was for it was on for two for one yeah that's one. what I meant yes. on Mario because I know there's Mario tennis you guys said there was Mario Strikers oh right there right was yeah Mario right. baseball there was Mario golf yeah there was oh. the basketball one I forget yeah, yeah, yeah it was it's on, called it was like, on... three, it's like Mario hoops like three on three or something like that yeah that yeah one. Mario hoops three on three and sports mix mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, sports yeah. mix had um. We need more. Think, we need more Mario sports games, folks. Let's, let's try to think of another sport. So we need want, uh, Mario, Mario Golf. <laughs> no, I want another baseball. That Super Slug is just the best on. I the want. Game. I want Mario. Why not football. Mario swimming? <laughs> they have the Olympics ones. The That's Olympics. Olympics. Can we can we get uh, Mario MMA? <laughs> Oh my god. That's Smash Brothers. <laughs> that, that's not, no, no. They have to fight the yes. octagon. And you're going to have that ref go, oh, all right, I'm get gonna, on! Okay. All right, all right. I'm grabbing my tablet. I'll make an octagon. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then, I don't know. If, if they're going to do that, the MMA style, you know, one of the special moves, you, you do a fake Hadouken and your opponent gets oh, staggered. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know that. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> That's oh, um yeah so um unless you guys have any more things to talk about um i think you can save it for later yeah save it for later yeah i think we're pushing time <laughs> yeah don't do so... drugs <laughs> don't do drugs don't, don't, don't do drugs, drugs. yeah uh, request we did... legit characters please legit oh, characters. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh yeah speaking of uh, characters of requesting <laughs> i just popped open read uh reddit Someone said, for Smash put, 4. someone said, put Ori in Smash. And I was like, eh? <laughs> Ori. <laughs> oh, none. You want this little... Put Pillsbury light... Doughboy for Smash. Woohoo! <laughs> Hamburglar for Smash. Oh, God. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> I think better we're... cut it out. <laughs> no, All right, uh, say, say your shout-outs or whatever uh, to promote your whatever. <laughs> Before we go crazy. I'm under Gamma everywhere, except on Instagram. <laughs> I don't have one of those, but you can find me on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Don't uh, stop. I'll be streaming. Stalk me all you want. Uh, I'll <laughs> be streaming Mortal Kombat X from Xbox One, like a lonely man, <laughs> when it releases on Twitch. So. Add me on Steam Kaichi and like give me the combat pack because yes. <laughs> Because yes, all right. Because yes. Because <laughs> yes. Cause, cause reasons. Because <laughs> reasons. Uh, Wardo, did you want to say anything before we sign off? If you need help with Monster Hunter for you, look me up. So Wardo. Monster Hunter for Smash. <laughs> <laughs> you the... go sit down, sir. Go over there. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> let me let me Google some more characters. Oh no. no okay. All right. Hurry up. We're, we're done. We're done. <laughs> no. All right. We're, all right. This is, uh, thank Abort. you guys for watching. Dip boys. Dip boys. Everyone. Dip boys. <laughs> thank you guys for watching the uh, podcast and tuning in. Uh, if you guys liked it, uh, then we're gonna hit that thumbs up and all that great stuff. Um, if you have Ooh, any comments, smash. <laughs> if you have Dip any comments, boys, everyone. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section. And uh, yep, uh, we'll be back for more uh, for more topics and all that stuff. And probably Electra for more. Buzz. <laughs> and probably more uh, character requests. So uh, until then, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Dip boys. Strider for Smash. Dip boys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>